So this is called Episode Enyo. This, I believe, takes place prior to the events of Slave Zero X, which is the main game we're playing here, although Slave Zero X is itself a prequel to Slave Zero, which was a Dreamcast and Windows game from the late 90s. So what we're about to play, since this is a mod that is a prequel to a prequel, we're saying this is a pre-prequel, I guess. So yeah, there we go. Episode Enyo. Let's jump in, baby. All right, so no, no cutscene, no, no shenanigans here. Um, this is a Quake mod. This is a Quake game. This is a Quake mod. So no flashlight, no, no fancy shenanigans. We got boomer shooter action here. We got a katana. Um, there's no alt fire, I don't think, in Quake. We got gun. We got Johnson in the house. What's up, Johnson? Good to see you. Uh, probably, probably Norm McDonald difficulty. I think Norm difficulty feels right to me. Um, is there an, is there a use button in Quake or do you shoot things? I think you shoot things to, uh, to enable them or to unlock them, don't you? So. The Mule. So that's the name of the pistol. Feel free to let me know if... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can see the credits right here. Or wait, is that what that is? Oh, it's if you look here, it's the credits. Okay. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I think I I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I get that. Pretty sure Quake works such that there's no dedicated use button. Here we go. I was gonna stand with the armor. There we go. I I it does feel like it's a little bit maybe on the quiet side. Maybe that's just on my end. Um, you have to connect to say connect to the server in order to lower the volume. In this case, raise the volume of the sounds. Okay, so it's just a little starting area, and of course, much like other Quake experiences, you, you set the difficulty not, not with just like a setting in a menu, you actually get to press buttons. So you just kind of run, you just kind of mush yourself into something to activate it. Now, I'm going to assume it's a bad guy. And also, I know very prominently in this game is melee stuff, in the main game, is melee stuff. Melee stuff, like katana, weaponry, that kind of thing, is shown very prominently in the main game. So there might be times where we're very much encouraged to katana people to death in this game. That's supposed to gun them to death. Got the gaming laptop, very nice. Looking at laptops that were around three hundred dollars cheaper. Oh, okay. So yeah, so you you got you got a pretty good deal for it then. That's good. That's right. And of course, and if you got it through Costco, there you go. Yeah, getting getting it through Costco is the way to do it. Um, or at least just in general. I mean, I realize that not everybody's a fan of getting you know computer stuff from Costco at least. But I I myself feel at least that. Uh, if you do the research ahead of time and kind of know what you're looking for, you can sometimes find a sweet deal th through Costco. I mean, I I don't know if I would think to myself, "Oh, cool, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go shopping," and I don't know what I'm looking for, and I'm just gonna like let come what may and just get the first cheap thing that that looks good. Oh, here we go, we got SMGs now. I would do some research, kind of like you were doing, Johnson, and then see what's the best deal. And sometimes the answer to that question is wh who has the best deal is Costco. Sometimes. Sometimes it's Costco. Sometimes it's Newegg. Every once in a while, Amazon will surprise you. But yeah, Costco can come in clutch for sure. That's where I got Gracie's laptop for Christmas a couple years ago. Yeah, that's the way to do it. And yes, yeah, Shayna and, and, and Doggy got some cuddles, which actually wasn't terribly surprising. It was not terribly surprising because, um, you know, as, as I've, as I've, you know, shared on many occasions, Shayna is, you know, always, always down for attention. Not sure what this is. She's always down for loveies. Like she's always down for attention. You know, it. it you, you, she is hard pressed to not constantly be down for uh, for getting loveies. So it was only a matter of time before she was gonna snuggle with Doggy. Um, she is very. Um, she's she's like very so so about about Bonnie, Bonnie the dog, um, which we kind of expected because she's seen dogs before and and every time she's never 
shown uh, any sign of being scared of them. More just being ambivalent, like, eh, I don't really care. So, just very, uh, very nonplussed about dogs. I was curious if there were, like, any secrets over there. But really, there's no way I'm going to get all the secrets in this game. So, I'm not really too sure why I'd be so concerned. I also see this and I think, like, oh, man, is there... Is there any point to jumping down here or does this have a kill plane like would this would this be a guaranteed kill plane that would shit my pants completely i don't see like any power-ups i don't see any any kind of indication that says oh yeah there's stuff in here i think the whole point of that sequence was to cut me off from getting to this catwalk i think that's where we need to go ultimately so i'll just go around the other way the kind of the way we were starting to go so yeah so she's the tortoise shell she's the one that we knew would would be fine you know fairly quickly you know if for a while there she was not really avoiding bonnie but she was maybe maybe a little bit avoiding her more just kind of like feeling her out from a distance just being like i don't know how about, about this but definitely not like like uh being fearful more just kind of watching just having a ooh shit there's more more having a measured uh from a distance approach more just like observing from afar and uh Trying to trying to gauge what she thought, you know, before we're going in for for cuddles. Uh, bio suit. That means I can actually swim through this swampy grossness with no problems at all. I like how I lined up that jump up. Spent all that time trying to line the jump up, and then I still hecked it up and fell like a doofus. And another bio suit. I guess if I have more time down here, I might as well look around. So anyway, so yeah, so Shana and Bonnie being little buddies. Actually, Gracie told me while I was doing work stuff. She was snuggling with Bonnie, and Shana came over to him, to to her, while uh, they were both snuggling together. Uh, Shana came over while Gracie was snuggling with Bonnie, and Shana like, kind of like she didn't like snuggle up with Bonnie necessarily, but she like kind of stepped on top of her to get to Gracie. Uh, also, I like how, oh never mind, I thought that was I thought that was another bio suit. That's just some some guy's head that I killed earlier, but um, but yeah, so she like stepped on top of Bonnie to get to Gracie, which means, all right, she's willing to, you know, have some form of contact with her. That's, that's a good sign. So we're hoping that it means that, um, that, you know, very, very soon. Here we go. Let's jump here. That very soon that, uh, they'll, they'll like properly be cuddling together. The, the unfortunate thing, of course, is that it's going to be very warm for a while, for, for, a, for a good while here. But, um, you know, once it, eventually the winter will come once again, and when it gets cold again, I mean, that is a really good incentive for kitty cats and doggy dogs to get nice and warm and snuggly together. So I'm, I'm keeping my my heart, my, uh, my my fingers crossed that by then they'll be best buds. And maybe by then, maybe Ferret will sort of allow by the him and, and, um, and Bonnie to exist in the same room together. Because for the time being, he is still hissing at her very angrily. Like, he's very convincing. If I didn't know that he was, he, he couldn't harm a fly, I'd be like a little bit concerned. He, he sounds very angry. Every time she's near, every time she's like in the same room with him, he, he hisses a lot. Um, but I did notice the other day, got a Neo Henigashima shotgun. That sounds fancy. Uh, the other day, actually it was yesterday. Ouch. I know what that noise means. Oh, that's, that's grenade launcher friend. Kind of looks like something from uh, Warhammer with the cape. A simple man. I see large fellow with cape and spikes. I assume Warhammer. But anyway, um, he, I, I, for, for the most part, he's, he's staying very far away from her. And he's staying upstairs with very little exception. However, he did surprise me. He did surprise me where he actually came down part of the stairs and was like looking at the two at, at me. And I think he was looking at Gracie and me and Bonnie together. But he was kind of like spying on the three of us, and as I approached the stairs, he kind of, he kind of like, wised up and and uh, and ran up the stairs. But like, he's at least been watching. He's been at le he's at least been watching. I'm hoping that's a sign that maybe he's. Oh, nice, nice rocket shot there. I'm hoping that's a sign that maybe he's um, you know, by by virtue of him watching from afar, by virtue of observing, maybe that's a sign that he's, maybe thinking, okay, maybe she's not, a a. a irredeemable demon maybe maybe it's okay and they don't have to be best friends they just need to coexist together and again bonnie doesn't give a shit she's completely content to be around kitty cats could not be bothered could not be bothered in the slightest oh rocket friend what the hell uh, 
it's like all I ask is coexistence. I don't think that's too much to ask, is it? Get caught up on chat here. Maybe take a week. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured it'd be a few days to a week at, at most for sure. But yeah, the good news is that it only took a couple days, and they're 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 more than happy to coexist. Also, also a gigantic, cartoonishly yellow and banana bunch looking rib cages. Oh my god. You know, I just watched a really fun video essay a little bit earlier about... Um, it, the title was a little bit misleading, and it kind of is a... Well, it's almost like nostalgia bait. It's a little bit of a nostalgia bait, but the, the basic gist of the video was like when video games were simpler. Um, and more just because simplicity or like limit, like hardware limitations breeds more creativity a lot of the time not always not always but like you know limitations when it comes to realistic graphics and smaller budgets means you know developers and publishers had to get creative when it came to using their resources to make games nowadays you know these we got these big budget titles that have uh, really cool uh, visuals and whatnot you know there's there's kind of more of a real more of a, a bun an overabundance of like ultra realism stuff and not as much of like the fun cartoonish stuff and like zany weirdness unless you're looking in the indie game sphere if you're considering indie games obviously that kind of throws that out the window but when it comes to like big budget main stuff you know, we're kind of limited but anyway it was a cool video and oh he just got zapped and i feel that way whenever i play any kind of quake or doom uh, mod. I, I, I always like revel in the simplicity of the control scheme. It's always a breath of fresh air when compared to something that's obviously much more involved. Something with, that's more involved is you know, maybe prettier graphics, but but um, but also sometimes has uh, has like a control scheme that's that takes a while to get the hang of, and you know like a, a combat system that it, that is has has some layers to it. Not that I've played anything super super complex recently, but still. It is still a, a nice breath of fresh air, regardless. A couple hits there. This guy got zapped real good. We'll need to find some way to resolve that, obviously. Talking computers and talk about Shayna and Bonnie being little buddies. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's good. She's gonna be the cut. Oh yeah, they're they're gonna be cuddle bud buds, no question. Ooh, do you think I can? I'm gonna, I'm, I think you, yeah, I was gonna say if I hold shift, it's like a walk button. Is this a sneaky little secret? It is a sneaky little secret. Also, speaking of like, you know, simpler things, look at this background. Look at this skybox. Oh, I love it. I love this kind of shit, dude. So, so old school. I'll be, yeah, I'll be part of Fair too, Johnson. Yeah, the moment when he's able, he's like willing to sniffer. Even if he sniffs and then immediately runs away. If he even he, if he at least allows himself to get close to go for sniffies, that will be that'll be a winning sign right there. Yeah, I figured I couldn't make that jump. There was a couple uh, spots to try. The first witch gonna be over here. If I fall down, I do see that there's an elevator down there, which is good. Yeah, so we'll we'll see. We'll get there. We will get there. I, you know, we just gotta be patient. These things they take time, and you know, sometimes dogs and cats just. You know, don't always see eye to eye when it comes to trying to share. Oh, that disables. I thought it was gonna be like an elevator. Disable the labor lasers. I was expecting a thing to come down. Oh, hello. Now I do enjoy a good quake mod or a good quake like this is a quake mod, obviously, but this is all part of the Slave Zero X experience. It is free to download though, so if anybody doesn't own Slave Zero X but they want to try this quake mod, uh, episode Enyo is available. I think are freely available. Even. I think it's on itch.io. Now it says lasers disabled. Maybe oh, other lasers, not those lasers. That's that that's lightning arc. That's not lasers. That's lightning arc. Lasers are here. We got Rusa in the house, by the way. What's up, Rusa? We're talking dogs and kitty cats. Yeah, yeah. Without the yeah, that would be impressive. Because yeah, he might he might go for sniffies and still hit and still hiss. But I, I'm with you. I'm with you, Johnson. Like, it's only a matter of time. Is this? A, it's a plasma beam. Plasma rifle. There. there we go. It's only a matter of time till I get my own explodey. Some kind of rocket launcher thing. 
waste processing power grid. Um, good. That means the lightning arc that we saw above should be open season. Yeah, she, she's like medium energy. So I would say small to medium energy. Yeah, yeah, small to medium energy for, for Bonnie for sure. Like, she definitely has energy. And she definitely like, you know, she's one of those dogs where if you're just chilling like I am right now, if I were to stand up, Suddenly, or not even suddenly, if I just were to, to move to stand up, she'd be like, Oh, word? Where are we going, fam? Like, she, like she's down. Like, she'll stand up. She's out of tension. She is ready to go at a moment's notice. But she's also fine to chill. Like, she's one of those dogs that is uh, more than excited to, you know, go on. I almost don't want to say the word. Go, go on walkies. She's always down for that. She's always down to go potty and go outside and go sniffing around. She likes hanging out with other dogs. She loves other people loves other people my god she's a people dog so um she, she's she has so many of the standard dog traits standard like you know desirable dog traits that we all want to see in doggies you know dexter my little sweetie my sweet little boy that i that i my little my little buddy that i miss every day i love that dog so much but i will confess he lacked a lot of those aspects he, he locked a, he lacked a, a, a lot of those things that were like, you know, standard dog um, uh, aspects. You know, he he was much more timid. M you know, a very gentle dog. C could not hurt a fly if he wanted to. And his and his gentle demeanor was always so relaxing and so soothing. But, yeah, you, you know, in, in some ways, you could be argued that he was not as fun. Compared to a dog like Bonnie. That's okay. I didn't, I didn't need him for him to be fun, obviously. You know, he was just my little sweet buddy. He, that's all he needed to be. But it is, it is something really fun where you can pop a dog in the car. They're happy to go on an adventure. Go for a walk in the park. It is it is really good. It's a really good thing. So I'm, I'm really glad we got it. We, we chose well. If I'm allowed to pat myself on the back, I think we chose well. There we go. I was trying to find the uh, SMG button. Like lots of cuddles. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm in the same boat, Johnson. It, ultimately, when push comes to shove, yeah, I, I would say I'm I'm inclined to agree. My my absolute favoritist kind of animal is the one that's just down for endless cuddles. And that's how Dexter was. Dexter was down for endless cuddles. The good news is that Bonnie also has a, I would say, near endless capacity for cuddles. Near endless. So, you know, you, you get a lot of the, the benefits that I was just mentioning, but also you get you get, um, you know, a, a lot of what Dex tried to offer, too. So, I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very happy and, and very pleased with our choices. Wish to adopt our new doggy. She's, she's a sweet little girl. Um, yeah. This is actually, uh, pretty, pretty not so hard so far, by the way. Oh, I say that right before I get fucking bludgeoned to death. Pretty not, not terribly hard so far. Um, of course, we're playing on normal difficulty. The one thing, and in fact, I almost wonder if I should double check this, but the one thing is that I'm pretty sure, pretty sure one of the dares we picked, if I do this, if I do this to see the dares we're working on, one of the dares for this one is to complete a, oh, let me, let me do this. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. I want to make sure like, I read this correctly and I'm not just making it up. I think it was if you beat one level without using save states. If you complete episode Enyo... No, no, that's not it. Um, ba 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 Where is it? Here, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm looking at so we can all look together. So this is the dare drop campaign for this game. So if we beat a level without using save states... It's not beat like a chapter. It's not beat a... You know, not beat the game. It is if you beat a single level without using save states. It's weird because this says it's hard, but like, that should be pretty easy, right? And only one person has done this, so has, has accomplished this challenge is as evident by the fact there's 29 remaining and the bar is nearly full. So hopefully I miss, I'm not misunderstanding this, but I think as long as we beat a level without using any manual saves, we should be Gucci. All right, yeah, all right. Actually, the problem, now the one problem, Johnson, is that I can do this now. The one downside, of course, is that I'm, I'm enjoying a nice uh, black cherry beverage, a, a bevy even, a soda, a black cherry soda. Um, it is a, in fact, I'll go to webcam mode for a second so I can show you. 
It is a uh, there's a there's a local uh, Midwestern bottling company, soda bottling company called Excel Cola, that uh, does uh, a lot of a lot of beverages, a lot of soft drinks. Uh, if you've ever heard of anybody from the Mid- from the Midwest speak well of Ski or Frosty, or not the not the Wendy's dessert, but but Frosty root beer. If you've ever heard of Ski, uh, it's the same makers of Ski. It's Excel Cola, and sometimes they do special event uh, beverages. This is one such case because we have the solar eclipse happening in a month. This is the darkest hour, black cherry. It's pretty good. Pretty good. But I'll go and do this now. So here's, what, here's what's going out then. The previous one was water in very bold quotations. Water in very bold quotations. Are we in the path? Uh, not as much as we would like to be. Not as much as we would like to be. We'll be affected by it for sure. But we won't be as affected by it um i think to so i'm in st louis i think to really really be in like the heat and like the fucking eye of the storm for that thing you'd your best bet for people here would be to drive down to to cape Girardeau. i think cape Girardeau, missouri is probably the best the probably the best uh, option but uh which is you know not quite as ideal so it's gonna be team sheena x bonnie cuddles I'm hoping this is going to be enough. Enough tape real estate. It's going to be a little bit more. It's going to be a, more, more of a long one. Some of it might not be always visible on screen. What's up? Shock value. Have I seen a solar eclipse before? Yes. Uh, one. Uh, the, most, the most recent one would have been 2017. 2017 and I was at work at the time. But I do remember. I do remember. Like I, we did. I didn't have the goggles. I was. I was working in. I was kind of. I was stuck in a work thing. I couldn't get out of. So like we were stuck indoors. But I remember. I w- we were able to. We were able to see out the windows. And I remember it. Like got strangely dark, way earlier than it should have been. And it was in the summer. It was the summer of 2017, 2017. And um, a bunch of the uh, w- w- uh cicadas started chirping because the, the cicadas typically chirp around kind of golden hour around around like once the sun kind of starts to set so you know I, we were hearing the sounds of cicadas being very confused by sudden nighttime and then they stopped once the eclipse passed and the light returned back once again yeah i want to say it was summer 2017 because it was a couple months before uh gracie and i started dating actually so Buffalo's in the path of totality. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. St. Louis, like, we'll, we'll get a little bit of it. Because that's the thing. We, like, it was kind of a similar thing as, la- as last time in 2017. We weren't in the path for, like, a total eclipse. But we were in the path for, like, a good chunk of it. So we'll, we'll be affected by it regardless. So it was hashtag. Was it? Ha- yeah, yeah. Hashtag. Team. And then it was Shayna. How much room do I have work with? I, I think I should be okay, actually. So, Shayna, X, Bonnie, Puddles. I had just enough asking tape real estate to make that happen. There you go, Johnson. I got you, homie. Team, Shayna, X Bonnie Cuddles. There we go. But I, I'm going to set this behind me. So we're still working on our soda bevy. There we go, friends. I want to voice that as you should. As you should, Johnson. I'm proud of them too. I'll let them both know next time I see them. I'll probably see Bonnie in like half an hour when she gets bored and comes over to me for, to, uh, for, for, head, for head paths. I'll tell her then, but I'll tell Shayna... When I see her later tonight, when I give her her snackies, she gets uh, uh, twice a day medicine. And I usually, I, I, I have the, since I'm usually up at nighttime, I give her the, the evening version of her snackies. Plan to hold, really shock value, that's cool. So, so you, you really thought it was incredible. That's awesome, shock value. Uh, can I ask, can I be extremely nosy? You don't have to dox yourself. You don't have to tell me where you live. But can I just be nosy and ask, like, what kind of fun stuff did you get to do for the solar eclipse last time? Like, if there was, like, a... Oh, wait, or maybe you mean, 
Maybe you mean like th right now you're planning something around it as opposed to when it last happened. Because yeah, I, I am curious to hear like just whatever you want to share, whatever you're comfortable sharing uh, with regards to uh, what uh, what either the previous solar eclipse had for you and or what the next one's going to be. So yeah, but again, I, I don't want to pressure you if there's we're getting into you know, privacy, privacy stuff. Um, so that opened the, oh, I see, I see. So now I can get that. Okay. Yeah. Cause I saw the, the platform. I was like, I think I've been up here, but this was not reachable. Oh, the hey, machine guns are kind of, kind of rip. Honestly, machine guns are kind of, uh, kind of slapping, kind of slapping and slopping and blipping and blopping, but I will mix it up because we have other cool weapons like this thing, except it doesn't have a lot of ammo. The That's where this other thing works really well. Yes, some G's because I have so many ammo. So, so many ammo, so many bullets. So much ammo. <laughs> oh no, forgot to put the lid back on. Oh geez. Yes, yeah. That was where that was when Johnson learned. Alright, you know what? All right, J-Bone, you're on duty for this one. No pressure, but it's all up to you for this one, bud. Maybe it's, maybe it's for the best. Oh, hello. Beloved by the Got them both real quick. Nice and easy. Got a campsite. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a whole bunch of homies. Got some beers, some boats. Yeah, bud. Oh, that's so cool. Line the shoreline. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing, Shock Valley. That sounds so cool. What a great story, man. I love hearing that kind of stuff. Also, splash damage got him. What a dingus. What a dang old dingus. I love hearing shit like that, man. That's so cool where it's like you really... You guys really, like, did it up. You did it big. You did it big, and I think that's so cool. We have the yellow key this time, and there... This. This has the yellow key. There we go. That's great, man. Do you think you'll do something similar this year? This April. There's a Bonnie girl. Bonnie. Hi, sweet girl. When it when it come up. Yeah, it's right. Oh, that's the wrong screen. Hey, sweet girl. I got this buddy. I got this Bonnie buddy. Right, sweet girl. I wish she was a little bit I wish I could like shrink her down temporarily by like 10%. 5%, maybe 10%. And so she could jump in my lap. Because she could jump my life because she's a little bit large. Also, she got spayed a week ago. And her scar is healing very well. You know, the stitches are healing well, but she still has them. So, you know, it's like, I don't, I don't want to, like, strain her. I'm trying to trying to be really gentle. Because she's, she's it's, it's a sensitive area. It's, all, it's already a sensitive area, but it's even more sensitive when you're, you know, the spaying surgery is not, a, not an insignificant one. It's good to see you, Rusa. I hope you're doing well, bud. It is good to see you. But that sounds so cool, Shock. I love how you, like you said, you got a whole bunch of homies in for it. And you, like, really did it big. Really planned it out. That's so fun. Chewing through the tree pile. Yep, that sounds good. That sounds about right. This is like Doom. Actually, it's funny you say that. This is actually a Quake mod. This is a Quake mod. It's kind of an odd case because this is a... This is a Quake mod. That is, I think, like an official release made by the developers for Slave Zero X. That is not the main game. This is not the main game Slave Zero X that we're streaming, that I'm going to be streaming. This is kind of a prequel, I think, to Slave Zero X. And it was made by the, by the, that game's developers. And, uh, and since I got a, a review key for this game... Uh, they included some like intel on how to play this and it like if you want to check this out this is cool there are some dare drop giveaways that we have that are specific to this prequel uh, kind of mode so I was like yeah let's play this I, I love I, I love uh, quake mods that kind of thing I love quake in fact it might even be sacrilegious I think I like quake more than I like doom general just in general so yeah that explains why we're playing this even though the category says Slave Zero X, because in this, in like the streamer agreement, they requested when you, if you play episode Enyo, 
please leave the category Slave Zero X. So it is a Quake mod, but it's really good. Yeah, I can jump across like that. How hefty is she? She's about 20, 25 pounds. So still in the small category, but bigger than Dexter. But I mean, in all fairness, a stiff breeze was was had more weight than Dexter. He was he was six pounds when sopping wet. He was a teensy, teensy boy. Different part. Yeah, I, that'd be a longer trip. Yeah, that's, that's fair shock value. Yeah, that's that's I guess one thing because since I'm in the middle of the United States, uh, you know, St. Louis, Missouri, that's a that's about as smack dab in the in the middle of the continent of the United States as you could really ask for. Whoa. It's like a more beefy version of the the demon hounds, whatever they were called. Quake. Did that hurt? Of those things were called but anyway um yeah so like in, in our case even though i'm not in the direct path i'm close enough where i you know it's, it's um i'm close enough where like without having to do anything I, I have like partial eclipse experience and the nice thing is that if i did want to experience that cape gerardo missouri is not too long of a drive obviously there's it'd be relatively easy for me to get to a place that it does that it does cross into emergency logs deployed I'm gonna up the volume for voices. I really can't really understand what they're saying. Six. Yeah, small to medium. Yeah, pro probably more like medium. If she gets a string. Oh, well, the good news is that they should be like internal stitches. I, I think they should dissolve on their own. So she won't need the stitches removed or anything. But that is good to know. Yeah, sanitize them first. I was gonna say, yeah, I, you told me about that, Johnson. Oh, that that was a that sounded like a nightmare. That sounded really, really unpleasant. Unpleasant for you and for and for catters. Oh, some infighting. You love to see it. That actually was extremely helpful. The fact that they were infighting right then, because that allowed me to just kind of chill and. Take on the victor, whoever was more weak, whoever survived, but was still weakened. All right, um, going up. What's going to be? I'm, I'll have this out. Oh, that's the end of the level. Okay. I was thinking that was going to be, well, I guess I didn't know what to expect. All 99 kills though, baby. And uh, let it be known, we didn't use a single, um, didn't use a single save state. We never made a single manual save. As evident by, if I click load game, nothing. Nothing. No saves at all. Very good. Very good. Moving on, baby. Moving on. Small dog. You got a big one, shock value. Can I can I be nosy and ask what kind of breed you have, shock value? Because ours is some kind of border collie corgi mix. We call her a borgi. One of the purple three. Oh, okay, I got you. So it can still happen with the internal ones, too. Yeah, that's good to know though, Johnson, just in case, because like you did, you had to act, I, either you already knew that knowledge or you had to look it up. But regardless, regardless of how it went down, you you handled it like a boss. I'm sure, I'm sure Catters, I'm sure Kitty Cat Catters really appreciates your, uh, your, your ability to act, think quickly and take care of business, because, I mean, you, you, you saved it from getting a lot worse and a lot messier, that's for sure. Yeah, near panic. I, I there would have been an actual panic for me. I, I would have freaked the fuck out. No kidding, no kidding around. That would that would fuck me right up. I guess that's healthy. Yeah, it's got to be health. You've got a burner. Oh my god, you've got a burner. I'll have to tell Gracie. She both of us love burners. Bernie's Mountain Dogs because um, uh, Grace's dad, who uh, who passed away uh, a couple years ago. Uh, he had a Bernie's Mountain Dog, and he loved that dog so much. He, um, unfortunately, he got to the point where he really couldn't care for the dog anymore. So, like, you know, so they, they, he had to rehome the dog, and it, it really made him sad. But, you know, when times were good, he he, he and that dog went on so many adventures. He, he loved that dog. So whenever we see Bernie's Mountain Dogs anywhere, 
in any in any context it's always like oh yes yes they're such big happy boys and girls such big happy buddies there's actually an instagram account that i i think i will choose not to name just you know in, in the odd chance that there's like anything that can be you know privacy you know privacy reasons for grace and her family our our family but um there's an instagram account that um the new owners or the dog's name is buck bucky the dog's name is buck and uh the new owners for buck or i guess i shouldn't say new it's been like it's been like four years but the current owners for buck um set up an instagram account and they post stuff all the time and they got him a little sister as well so they got a big old farm he's he's doing great he's doing great so he's we get to we get to check up on him see how he's doing see what kind of fun adventures he gets up to it's it's a good time oh shit this dude's behind me and i'm getting fucked up a little bit in fighting oh you love to see it oh yeah oh fuck him up oh yeah get get fucked i mean rocket guy's gonna win obviously Rocket Man burning out his fuse out here alone. Actually, what am I doing? I gotta zap this guy first. He's got a lot of, lot of juice. A lot of juice in the tank. He's got a picture. Oh, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. Like I said, he's the run to the litter and he's 105 pounds. I'm like 115. I'm like 120 pounds, so that is... That dog is 10 pounds away from being an Alex. And that is uh, hilarious to me. I, I would say it's terrifying, but burners are so sweet. And so, I, I don't know I don't know about yours, but but Buck... You know, I haven't seen him in a couple years, but Buck was always a big, happy, sloppy, kind of dumb, sweet boy. And of course, I say kind of dumb in, in a very positive way, because of course you do, but... He's a big sweetie. There was one time when uh, Grace's dad was walking Buck um, outside of his house, outside of his apartment, and um, his uh, he he got away from him. Like he like the he uh, her, her dad accidentally accidentally let go of the leash, and Bucky made a break for it. And he didn't go very far, but he just ran full tilt just because he was like so so excited. And he the story goes is that he like didn't he. He, he's not a very graceful dog, so he just ran full tilt into a car and broke the head the the uh, uh, broke the head broke one of the headlights. So we always love to say, "Oh yeah, yeah, remember that time Buck hit a car? He didn't get hit by a car. He hit a car, um, ran into it running full speed, took no damage himself, was completely unharmed, but yeah, fucking." busted a headlight a headlight on a car and of course her dad you know left a note saying hey my hilarious but slightly dopey ass dog just busted your fucking headlight sorry about that here's my number you know he, he got it taken care of but that's like a thing we, we always love to reminisce about just because it's so absurd i wish i could have seen it happen i wish i could have been a fly on the wall that going down just so i could so i could have like see it happen in real time down my oh, this is a grenade. Yeah, it's not going to be so good for for uh, shooting at somebody that far away. Oh, I was going to say that's what I was trying to avoid. I'm really kind of leaning heavily on the. Whoa. Leaning heavily on the um, the whole kind of sticking only with SMG, you know, for for, for convenience, for, for for convenience sake rather. Like it's gonna burn me eventually. Also, I should know better than to try to shoot one of these guys with a grenade launcher. That's a great way to get friendly fired to death. I mean, those guys have a melee attack. It's like a sword. I've just chosen not to get hit by it. Because I'm that cool of a gamer. Like, the shotgun's great. But it's limited ammo, obviously. That's the way I'm... I guess the way I'm using this weapon, it's also limited ammo. God dang. 
Yeah, it, yes, and Snuggly, yes, yeah, it was a, is, I, I keep saying it was, I mean, the dog's still around. He's just, he's just not, you know, in, in our ecosystem anymore since he was rehomed. But, yes, very much so. Big Snuggly fella, um, before, before Gracie got the two cats, uh, his, the two cats were actually, were his cats, specifically. So, <laughs> and, uh, I never, I never got to see this. I never, like, saw any pictures of it, obviously. I guess it'd be kind of weird if I saw evidence of this. But Gracie said that her dad and Buck and the two cats would all sleep together in the same bed. So I'm just imagining a full-ass, grown-ass human, human adult male, and then a big old Bucky boy, and then two cats all snuggled up together in the same bed, just being a bunch of big old goobers. That's just, oh, what a, what a wonderful, what a wonderful thing that must have been to experience. That jaw. Big, big boy. So that, let, that let us, uh, yeah, what was over this way? What did I miss? Okay, so, yeah, if I would have gone this way, more or less the intended direction, presumably. A couple of ammo caches in a secret area, for that matter. That's exciting. I'm gonna guess this is off limits, or it leads back to the same area we were just in. Lots of ammo for things that I could... Yeah, that's that's pretty useful. Um, I don't really have any hope of making it to that area right there with that jump. I want us to go that way. I do appreciate the arrows. I, I really do appreciate the arrows kind of giving little nudges. So yeah, that leads us back around here. Is there a map? Um, High rise hell. So there's no map, I don't think. That's okay. This is a path underneath there. I was thinking there would be more of these little switches because, well, there's an elevator down here. There was going to be more, more that came from. Say, give me more of, the, more of them bullets. You're a grenade fella. There he is. Grenade. These are the equivalent of the, oh, what are they called? Ogres in Quake? Chainsaw grenade launcher fellas? I like that little guy. Might be a secret back there, but not well. I, I mean, I guess we could try to grenade jump it, but I don't, I don't have the confidence required for such a ordeal. Alright, so that, that elevator does work. It's just, you have to, you can only use it from down here. Something up there? There's a billboard. Yeah, I was thinking like, oh, can I get up there somehow? Well, the answer is no, I cannot. Ouch. Actually, what ammo is this? Because I thought this was like battery ammo. Oh, it's probably shotgun shells. Okay. Well, no reason for me to be using shotgun shells more than. Uh, hello? Oh. Maybe not shotgun against you. That'd be pretty inefficient. You look so small down my sights. Oh, this is this is also pretty inefficient. We're, I'm I'm a little further away than I probably should be. So he'll eventually get gone, right? Uh, can I crack open the porta potty? Asking for a friend, of course. I want to get the stuffs. Uh, let's see. Is, is, is this a dumpster? Can I loot the dumpster? Can I loot the dumpster? Is, is Ashley from Resident Evil 4 hiding in there? As she has wants to do. Grab that real quick. But There's more where that came from here. Well, goddamn. Oh, it's only three shells at a time. That's not overly generous. This rusty ass, uh, clearly. Well, let's think about this. This game is a prequel to a prequel to a game that came out in 1999. So maybe the old school graphics make sense. Was I supposed to be able to jump that? I, I guess I must have been because there's stairs leading back. I feel like I just went behind the. I feel like I'm looking at the. This game's equivalent of yeah of yeah the the, the movable strength truck in Pokemon or the um the float or the or the mysterious island in Goldeneye. I didn't think I was kind of, I was allowed to make that jump. 
Okay, well, now that I've properly fucked around, it is time to find out. Is there more? Are there more friends where that came from? Also, whenever I see this, I think to myself, can I jump into that broken window? Can I get in that shit? Uh, oh, this, this was a waste of time. Go around. There we go. <laughs> That's a satisfying noise. Uh, and this is... It's a secret area. I think it's... Yeah, it's quad damage. It's... This game's... Icon for quad damage. You know, it's it's the same effect, obviously. Just the... Uh, the glyph is different. Of course, as you can imagine, it just liquefies anything you shoot. More than, more than a few times. More than once or twice. The good news is that this thing is now a, a fucking sniper rifle. Uh, except not anymore. It well lasted. Alright, I'm a little bit nervous about, like, I mean, I guess this isn't moving. I'm just thinking about, like, train stations. I'm just thinking about getting blasted by something that comes by. Um, I could, I don't think I could make that jump. Although, that's a ladder, I think, yeah. So that would give you big health. Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. There was a billboard that had big armor. Um... What's that say? Old Valley... Something... Uh, excuse me, what? Something something parasite free? Huh. <laughs> I wonder what they're getting at with this. I wonder what that's alluding to. Yeah, yeah, you're like, wait a second, I was... I'm allowed to do this? And sometimes the answer is no, and you've soft-locked yourself, so good luck. Also, Silver, what's up, bud? This, you're correct, my friend. This is the mod first, bud, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I love me a good Quake mod. Wish I could zoom in. I, I mean, we, we all know what that's lampooning. I love, love me a good Quake mod. So when I saw that this was included with the Daredrop campaign, I was like, yes. But, um, but I am curious about the main game as well. Oh, Jesus. I am curious about the main game as well. I am really curious. I'm kind of, I'm kind of lukewarm on, be on like, beat-em-ups. Not my favorite genre, but it, I don't know. It does look kind of cool. And the original game... I'll confess I never did play it, but I've I I it it always appealed to me. It always looked really cool. So the fact that this is all a a prequel to a Dreamcast game is pretty sick. That alone was enough to you know to get to color my my intrigue. I think I pressed the button. Yes. Because yeah, Slave Zero came out for the Dreamcast back in 1999. God dang. Have you played it yourself, Silver? Silver Int? Because it is pretty cool. And the Jared Drop campaign, you probably already know this. Jared Drop campaign is going for another 9 or 10 days, I think. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit late to it, but that's okay. Better late than never. Ooh, can I break the glass? Not quite. Also, I'm like now... Oh, oh Jesus, that's kind of fucking morbid. I'm like now uh, trying to uh, to realize and and or appreciate uh, some of the weird fucked up stuff in the background. You know, for a little bit there, I was like, oh cool, bing bang boom, I'm just shooting shit. We, this is fun. And now I'm like, oh wow, there's some there's some fucked up stuff going on here. Just blasting through, killing bad guys. Not really, not really worried so much about. The environment or about about the world I'm in, but uh Oh hello. It was like inside of me for a hot second there. It was actually kinda romantic. Kinda sexy. You wanna climb back in, bro? Climb back inside of me, it was pretty fun. Let's do it again sometime. Your place or mine. Uh Bixay's finest ingredients. Skin revive. Very good. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate that, Chuck. I, I won't show it on stream, but I, I will absolutely look at it on Discord. And I will re I will reply back with something to the effect of, that dog is awesome. So, if you are not a fan of getting of uh, having your dog be complimented, I got bad news. I'm going I'm to gas your dog up. Full tank. Full tank of gas. Let's say one of those is going to land. Can I, can I reach? Uh, not quite. Not quite. So you oozy that shit. Oozing down. 
Not very efficient, but it works. It works. Anything else cool here? A couple, couple of nice things. Did I see rockets? No, not yet. Not yet. I got excited. The character designs, yeah. But the advertisements for sure. I'm I'm curious about um about for the for the main game. I'm curious what that's gonna be like because the 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 protagonist in the main game, like some kind of badass samurai robot cyborg thing, looks pretty badass. Uh, oh, okay. Well, there, for, oh, well, there, there's a different kind of character design. I mean, if we honestly, if we're playing a video game and there aren't any anime waifus, I don't want it. Not a single anime waifu. Get it the fuck out of here. So this game understands its priorities, and I'm I'm all about that. Although we are picking up explosives. So, we'll eventually get a rocket launcher. Alright, this one. Number one parasite-free, I guess, grocery store. Real natural food just the way you remember it. Pr uh, sands the parasites. I'm gonna get that armor. Secret area. Should I try for... There was a, a moment not too long ago where I was like, man, there's some health... It looks so big and so inviting, so girthy. I just, I'm, I just can't resist. It was back this way, I think. I'm wondering if I'm about to embarrass myself. Actually, no. There's a ladder there. I can't fuck it up, right? I mean, I could, but I'm gonna choose not to. I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna make the gamer choice not to fuck up this jump. So take a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage is fine. Look at that. Big. And it's a secret. It's an open air secret, but a secret no less. The downside is I have to, you know, schlep my way back like a doofus. Although, 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 maybe we get rewarded for our trouble. We get that rocket launcher a little bit early. And a fucking laser something something? Dude. Man, getting that giant. Oh, oh, oh. Getting that giant health thing was the best decision I've made uh, in a hot minute. And then also, this weird train keeps clipping out of existence, but that's okay. That's okay. We have much more interesting things to, to see. I think I know what this does. It's a, Yeah, it's a sniper rifle of sorts. Can I zoom in? No, but it's still pretty cool. I could guess. I can guess what this is. And I could venture a guess or two what, this, what exactly this is. So we got some... Is your ass on fire? No, his gun's on fire. Okay. Um, so we have some long-range options available to us, which makes me very happy. I, I, I appreciate that. I think only the... No, no. I, th I think the sniper was also a secret. I was going to say, I, I, was about to, I was about to say that I appreciate only the health was a secret. The sniper, I think, was technically a secret, but I don't know. The, you, you, really, you really couldn't have gotten one without both. Can I just kind of do one of these? I wonder if that's... Oh, wait, no, that's like a centaur thing. Am I seeing that right? It's like he's got four legs and two arms. Yeah, that's when I jumped down. Look at this little fella. So we get some like, you know, the, the future is a dystopian nightmare, but we get little fun anime characters, so you could do a lot worse. The bad guy spawns suddenly and angrily. Also, this kind of has like an HR Giger vibe to it. Kind of vibe into it. Ooh, big boy. Do my eyes deceive me or is it like I'm able to shoot? Oh, you can shoot a bunch of rockets. Or, and by a bunch, I mean two. You shoot two by automatically. That's pretty cool. Not a ton of damage. Doesn't need to be, though. That's a ton of damage. Down my sight. That was tasty. I, I'm really glad I got this weapon because it means I, I probably got it earlier than I needed to, or than I was expected to. So maybe it'll make the next couple levels a little bit easier. Oh, hello. Although, like I was saying, oh, this game isn't, this mod isn't overly hard yet. It's, it's like pretty chill so far. There's a ladder here so I can explore without any concern for repercussions. I think the end of the level is just right there anyway. 
to jump up real quick. I'm not gonna like. This is one of those games where it's like, you know, I, c I guess I could spend every waking moment checking every. I guess that's gonna that's gonna be the boss we're gonna fight later. Checking um. Checking every corner, you know, checking every like little little, little piece of the map, trying to trying to really lick the walls. We still got a lot of secrets. We we got a lot of the kills, so it's not really gonna be a one. It's not gonna be a one hundred percent playthrough. There's just no way. But we'll we'll give it a proper what for though. We keep the badass weapons that we got, and that makes me really happy. I'm gonna have a hard time remembering all the shortcuts. Of course, I mean it's obviously just one through zero, obviously, and there's a few weapons we haven't gotten yet. Yeah, I try to I try to like more or less have on on deck the shortcuts for the weapons I like the most. I try not to mouse wheel. I try not to mouse wheel gamer myself too much. Mouse wheel gaming can be a little bit dangerous. Also, when push comes to shove, grenade launcher versus rocket launcher, I will a lot of times be a, a rocket launcher fiend through and through. Except Goldeneye. Goldeneye was like a rare exception where I really like I like the rocket launcher in Goldeneye, but I like the grenade launcher a lot more because very rarely were you shooting at a bad guy from too far away with a grenade launcher. So if you were playing that game, you were probably fighting against either an NPC or a human player that was fairly close to you. So in that point, in that point, just use the grenade launcher because you got six shots. Like why why uh, overcomplicate that? Oh, the one downside is that that does. You're, you're guaranteed to shoot twice. So if you don't want to shoot as much, you would rather shoot once. That is not. That is a limitation. Damn it, Damn it Bobby. Beloved by the bullet. You guys are like, I appreciate that there a lot of the enemies in this game are just more or less palette swap versions of quake monsters, quake enemies. But these guys are a lot tankier just across the board. At least that's how it feels. Maybe it's like a confirmation bias, but it seems like they're hitting us with some some tanky boys. Like the animation when you fire the shotgun. I didn't even I didn't even notice that until just now. When you fire the shotgun. There's like a cocking animation to it. It's kinda of fun. I love a good cock ing animation. I know I know what I'm about, son. I know what I'm I know what I'm about. This seems like a nice, really cool hallway to get fucking obliterated by something. When enemies spawn as I'm trying to go back like like they, like they like there's gonna be bad guys on either corner and yeah, maybe not but I figured it was only a matter of time um that's a very well very not well kept secret oh hello I get to drop anybody else a bit dark in here Now we have max armor. I have really no reason to, to do anything with this. Uh, don't be selfish. Always renew the unused. Huh. There's like a, it's a little bit more ominous than I would otherwise like for it to be. But if satanic porky pig wills it, then who am I to deny him? I know better than to, than to, to, than to incur his wrath. We are very full on a lot of kinds of ammo right now. It makes me think there might be something weird and or spicy coming my way. Something weird and or spicy in an area near you. You know, turn that man to liquid, no question. Oh, hello. A lot of this gun ammo, so I'm gonna use it. A lot of this gun ammo, and I've just kind of been sitting on it because we got a lot of really interesting and exciting ammo. This gun is, you know, by some measures, maybe a little bit boring, but hey, if it gets the job done. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, gee. Oh, I fucking ate that rocket with my ass. I just accepted that rocket into my butt. Like it, like it was, like it belonged there. Like it was born there. Who, who is fucking, who's, who, 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 show yourself. Who's the comedian? Who's the funny guy? Who's the fu- Who's the funny duddy? Wait, is it? No. Okay. I don't know who the funny duddy is. There's somebody shooting me from afar and I'm really upset about it. You break into my house? Suck my dick? Call me gay? It's a shotgun fella. There he is. We're good. Um, I tend to play these games in a breadth first search manner where I really, really enjoy the aspect of like looking for secrets. Even though I never get all of them, I still enjoy, I still enjoy the exploration. No, it's not about the destination. It's the journey. I still like looking, you know, window shopping for trying to find secrets, that kind of thing. All the well knowing. I know. I'm not I'm not a pro quick gamer. I'm it's not I don't have the patience to like really, really, you know, try to drink it all in to like an obsessive level. But I, I try to hit it pretty good, you know? I try to hit it good. Look at this big guy. Oh, a little bit worried about what this big guy's gonna do to me. No, I'm not. Never mind. He's fucking dead. Uh I, I killed him in front of my anime waifu. I hope she was impressed. I hope she was impressed. Went to great lengths. I did that for her. Um, right, nothing else. Hitting the G, the, the gamer, the G spot, which is to say the gamer spot. Yes, I've I've uh, I I'm glad Johnson that you understand the true definition of the G spot. It is the gamer spot. You know, some would say that the G in LGBT is gamer. Persecuted for their lifestyle. <laughs> ah, Jesus. So I'm going in full shotgun mode because we have a lot of shotgun ammo that I'm just not using. So I'm here to- t I aim to change that. It's so dark in these areas. Why don't you turn on a light? I uh, jump in here. Uh, there's nothing for me. Very good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was going to say, that'd be a really sneaky spot to hide something. Just because it's so dark. It's so dork. That was a noise. What I would do if I was a video game bad guy, I'd be of the, um, I'd be of the philosophy of like, honestly, I don't need to like sacrifice my life for my boss, you know, it's it's not important. You know, what whatever whatever my job as a as a guard, as a bodyguard is, is not important enough to die for. So if I was one of these video game bad guys and the protagonist was clearly clearly, you know, just just fucking destroying us. If it was clear that the, that the video game protagonist was here, was one shotting all of us and was just cruising along like it was NBD. I would do one of those where I would like I would get near where a where one of their shots was recently and just fall over and play dead. Be like, oh no, he shot the wall right here. That's where I was standing. Oh, I'm falling over. Oh, I'm dead. Like, I, I'd say to myself, you know what? I'm going to save us both the trouble. I'll save ourselves both the trouble. It's not worth it. I think that's... The self-preservation way to look at these things. It's pasta for the scary sauce. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You made pasta previously, so you're eating the pasta sauce with bread. I mean, there, there's worse things. There, there's, 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 there are laser things you could do. Beloved by the bullet. If it tastes good. Honestly, if it tastes good, that's all that matters. As long as it tastes good and, it, and it's not like... Because it's one thing to make something that is lazy and then think to yourself, Oh, this is terrible. But I'm too lazy to do anything about it. That's a, that's a bummer. That That's just like a... That's just sadness. That's just a sadness meal. 
But if it's like, no, I'm, I'm having a fun time. It's like, I'm vibing to this, then no shame. Life is too short. You say poppycock? I mean, you know, but maybe it was going to cost you $20, but, but we'll talk after the stream. It's all great. It is. It is. A lot of, a lot of carbs. Hey, I, far be it from me. Far be it for me to judge. I love me some carbs. Did that hurt? That is a, that is a, actually, you know what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. If I can get, to, get a clutch explosion on these fools. I the splash damage would have done more to the other guy. That's okay. Banking on that splash damage dams. Stewed tomato, tomatoes, sauteed onions. That sounds nice, yeah. See, so do you make the sauce yourself? Do you like puree it with a food processor? Because that's what Gracie's been doing a lot lately. She's been getting more into uh, doing her own pasta sauce and it's it's pretty sweet the only downside of course the, the good side and downside is obviously no preservatives that means that uh, you know, we have to eat it pretty quickly lest it start to go bad Ooh, excuse me and of course you could just freeze some of it but try to we try to like we try to be mindful of how much like if I'm gonna if we're gonna be freezing something what's the likelihood of us using it within the next like you know a few weeks or a month so our freezer space <gasps> is slightly limited oh big guy he's going for the melee attack yeah these guys really do have kind of a warhammer vibe they've got the big cape they got the really ornate sword with a badass and well decorated decorated hilt very, uh, yeah, just very, very opulent and Warhammer-esque, which, you know, we've had a decent bit of exposure to in this video game. Oh, I see you. Oh, this is unfortunate for me. And you. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Like a chunky, I got you. Classico, yeah, I've seen them in the grocery store. Freeze it for mott sticks. That's not a bad idea, honestly. Like just like the frozen grocery store mott sticks, but with kind of a sauce the way that you like it. it sounds pretty dope. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? It was very well obscured. Secret area. Oh, it does the thing where it ticks down over time, so you can't just have that benefit forever. So I kind of understand. Forklift. Oh, not a forklift. It's a. It's a cold. The the Reliant K, the fucking three wheeled car that's impossible to drive in that one episode of Top Gear. Not too reliant, is it? I was actually hoping that guy was gonna uh, shoot his own broskies to get to me, and that it was gonna cause some infighting. Did not. I'm sad about it. I'm also sad I couldn't get forklift certified, but that's. Neither here nor there. Beloved by the bullet. What's that? Connects these areas. I heard a fella. Whoa, big, big fella. It's grenade on grenade action. Oh, jeez. That's what that noise is. I was like, that's an odd noise to come from, the, like, the game's music that I'm hearing. I mean, a second, I realized that was a sound effect. From a bad guy. Ooh. Two dollars fifty. Yeah, I do the same thing. There's things I watch for when they're on sale, and then I then I stock up. Pasta sauce is great for that because it lasts a real long time. Find the store bought stuff. I was gonna say this seems like a great place to uh, get a bunch of bad guys all at once. Can the can, like, can I can you line up so I can shoot you both at, at the same time? I don't know if it actually penetrates. I'll assume that it does not. This is a lot of laser ammo, but it is worth it because those are big fellas. 
Big boys. The grenade would have been nice there too because they're all they would have gotten all splashed with the splash damage. Twenty-four ounces. Yeah, it's a good point. You can reuse the jars. We've done that for uh for a couple things, pickle jars, pasta jars, that kind of thing. It's been pretty neat sometimes. There we go. It's not moving. There we go. Dark over here is if I I'm, I'm thinking like Serious Sam if I go into this dark obscure corner will it spawn more bad guys? Serious Sam is the only game that does that kind of shit honestly. The lids are good. Self can't oh I see what you mean yes yeah so they have they have multi uses. I keep seeing these intestine parts and <laughs> who wants an who wants an intestine dog? I mean I guess. I mean, I guess packaged meats historically used to be made with, you know, extra intestinal lining, that kind of thing. So I guess an intestine dog is not the most wild thing to imagine. Still sounds unpleasant, but you know, not that wild. Okay, I explore the shit out of him. I, I, I don't trust myself to not explode my own self with this thing. Cause yeah, that's like the leaping fucking hound things from Quake. That's a pallet swap of those guys. And those are a great those are a great way to be kind of goaded into accidentally grenading or rocketing yourself to death. When they lunge at you and the explosion of your rocket maybe kills them, but also fucks your shit up simultaneously. Not a fun time. Not a fun time, and I know it all too well myself. Uh that was a dab by um was that an Ilu cat dab? The, the 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 rare but valuable the rare but valuable uh, I look at dab oh shit so on on the dab marketplace though that those will fetch a pretty penny so shouts to uh that's to Ilu if you were if you were meaning to lurk the dab has outed you my friend also speaking of kitty cats actually you can't see her actually maybe she jumped in my lap Gina has been jumping in my lap a lot lately when I'm streaming We'll see. We'll see if I can convince her. I can if I can use my super hobbit super charms. Let me just shoot you in the ass real quick. I can use my super hobbit super charms to uh, draw her in with my irresistible charisma. And to say that, I mean I have a lap and I have hands that can pet her. That's that's all that matters. Shana is no uh, she's no cuddle snob. She'll she'll take any kind of cuddles. My wife lovingly calls her a cuddle slut, but you know what? We don't shame here. We don't shame here. We don't, we don't cuddle slut shame. Shot that guy in the leg and his head fell off. Ask me anything. And yeah, this big guy makes me a little bit nervous. But he's melee only as far as I can tell, so I'm just gonna- Oh, I'm wrong! I'm- he's the fucking interdimensional shambler. I'm- I'm full of shit. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He fucking sh he tried to shamble my ass. He thought he tried to sham wow my ass. She's a, she is a cuddle fiend. Cuddle fiend is a is a much nicer designator, I think. So now that I've crossed the impregnable chain link fence. Which is to say, I have impregnated the otherwise impregnable. Is that gonna- oh shit, oh shit, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck. Those guys were ready for me. Oh, you're still alive? Okay, now he's not. That was the wrong weapon, but that's okay. Turned around, those guys were there, Jesus Christ. They were like, they were like waiting for me. Almost kind of romantic. What level is this? This is level three, I think. I think there's six levels total in this uh, in this episode. 
So at the rate we're going, we actually might be able to get to the main game tonight. May mayhaps indeed. And splattered one dude. Yeah, <laughs> the way the Gibbs just kind of fly out like that. I always have such an abundance of ammo for this weapon. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm just grateful I have a fairly efficient way to, to use it. And it's not just sitting in my inventory oh, being a waste. Being wasteful. I'm gonna do... One rocket salvo. There we go. He's still alive? One. Two rockets and two... Or two rockets and three bullets. Pistol bullets. That's what it takes. Oh, hello. Doing a really good job of hiding these guys in pretty sneaky places. Pretty, pretty sneaky. Also, I appreciate the yellow piss blood. Oh, it's not blood. It's the, their parking tickets. You ever, don't you hate that when you uh, get a, get a uh, paper cut in your hand, on your finger, and instead of bleeding blood, you bleed parking tickets? It's so annoying and expensive too. Happens all the time. Ouch. I don't know why I thought that was blood because we've seen on a number of occasion bad guys getting gibbed very violently with big red bloody chunks. So I'm not sure what what, what in my brain was like. Oh, yellow blood, of course. Check your weapon. Check your weapon. I was gonna say, I think there's some infighting, by the way. I think they, uh... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I think they fucked around and found out. You guys are so tanky. It's almost like they're wearing metal armor or something, but that'd be absurd. Don't be silly, Alex. Metal doesn't exist in this video game. Metal is illegal. And they all opened up this way. And it looks like... Oh, whoa, buddy. Oh, it's one of those. I don't know if I'm... Su Ooh, I'm throwing... I'm taking my life in my own hands if I go in there. Ooh, all right, all right. Close your eyes. Close your eyes if you're watching this and you are susceptible to... Being affected by whatever the... Whatever you want to call this kind of thing. Basically, the idea is there's like a missing texture... Or something and um, it just is like it's not like it's just like never undrawing whatever we're looking at here so either okay so this, it's a weird that's a weird place to keep a secret yeah, that is uh very disorienting the door's gonna open in a weird and sudden fashion Really, nothing else? Really? I figured that door was gonna open because, yeah, I, I was like, there's gotta be more, right? There was indeed not more, and I'm really sad about it. What about up here? Okay, that's just there for that's just there for show. I thought for sure one of these, like, there's all these closed doors. I figured something was gonna open, and something cool was gonna happen. That's okay. What's it say? Mool. Maybe mule. So I think that's where we're jumping to. Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess that's where I'm falling down. Get a secret area, at least for my troubles. I'm a troubled individual. What can I say? What I was about to say is I'm supposed to jump over that, not fall directly on top of it. But again, I, I guess I got a secret out of it, so I can't be too mad.
All right, try that again. Oh, the up arrow, by the way. Well, yes, that's that's what we were originally going towards. Whoop. So I make that jump. Um, wait, I've already been here. Maybe there's something new now. I mean, last time. Well, no, I still don't have any keys. Did I hit like a switch or something last time? Hmm. Makes me think I might have still missed something. This is back to the beginning of the level. Oh. Okay. Well, there's there's bad guys shooting at me. That's. I mean, I've been here before, haven't I? Oh, this is new. All right. Okay. So I guess this is new. Yeah. Seems pretty new to me. Come on. Give me some tasty splash damage. That's yeah, that's pretty tasty. That's pretty tasty. Explode. I mean, it's gonna explode, but don't hurt. There we go. All right, so now we're up here. Now we're among the clouds, I guess. There's a quad damage thingy that I'd like to be able to. Re I actually, I'm pretty sure I can reach. Oh, so close, so close. I can get it. I can get it. Especially now that we know. Back this way. Uh, it's the wrong way. Yeah, that's the wrong way. Go back this way. I can get that quad damage. I know I can do it. Do I need it? No, but it would most assuredly be counted as a new secret. Oh shit, maybe I can't go that way. And that will make, that that's like a cooler number when you get more secrets. Oh, I like the rat friend, by the way. It's some good graffiti. There, there's truly an, there truly is an artist living here in this city. You know, now that I realize that I've made a situ made a bit of a situation for myself, because now, let's see, yeah, I think it was it this way. Let's fall, fall the arrows, fall the arrows. That'll bring me to salvation. Cause yeah, it's right after this little sequence here. This is where we. I mean, I'm, I don't know if I'm 100% sold on this, but the, the presence of the red arrow makes me think. But this has got to be right. Oh, you go up here. Oh, I thought they meant up as in like go up and go that way. Okay, well, don't I feel silly? Don't I feel silly? Yeah, I, I completely misunderstood the assignment. Whoa. That's weird. Something like launched me for what? What? going on something's like yanking me forward is, is the ominous i didn't even notice the background until now is the fucking omnisaya willing that i oh wait are these like these like turbines or something that are blowing me i think they're i think i'm getting blown wow that's alex getting blown on stream tell a friend what's up slide uptick some duke vibes it is a quake mod it is a quake mod is like what have it so this is a quake mod that acts as sort of a prequel to the main game that we're going to be playing. And the main game that we're going to be playing is actually a side-scrolling beat-em-up game. So, this is the, this, this Quake mod, this, this official, made by the same developers, Quake mod, is a prequel to a side-scroller beat-em-up sci-fi kind of cyberpunk game. But don't worry, it gets weirder. Because this game itself is a prequel. Oh, I'm sorry, the main game. The main game is a, oh god, is a prequel to a 1999 Dreamcast game called Slave Zero, which is on Steam. It was also released on Windows. But a lot of people know it as a, as a uh, Dreamcast game. That guy is the... Quake. Uh, or the... the, the 
what's it what's it called slave zero x version of an interdimensional shambo that's why i was kind of running away there so yeah so so this is so this is what we're playing right now is the prequel to a prequel you could call this a pre prequel so it's it's it, there's some there's some layers to this it's a little bit weird but it is it's very fun though i'm enjoying it despite the weirdness being weird has never stopped me from having a good time see a secret i'm going for it or cut available actually maybe i'm wrong maybe it was not a secret there was nothing saying secret unlocked so my the sexual gratification i get from a well-made a well-discovered secret was uh left unsatisfied there's a lot of secret things in this area like very clear this this whole level is chock full of this kind of stuff so i mean you could you could spend a lot of time prowling for everything i i am in no mood to prowl for everything also like the advertisements and graffiti uh what's that one say um something foods for health something foods for health yeah I'm, just, I'm here for a good time. I'm here for just a good time, not a fully complete time. Eat those level three or, or four. I'm starting to lose track. Let's go into a save. I don't know if the game actually saves any like ever. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make a manual save just because I probably should. Extreme North Latitudes? That's a very good question. Um, I assume? I would assume that it would. Oh. Yeah, very good question. I'd have to... I mean, surely there's got to be some spots that it, that it can't reach, right? That's that's something in the distance. See that guy? Is that a bad guy? No, it's like a statue, right? Well... I mean, maybe it's a statue for now. Maybe it'll come to life at some point, but for now, it's immobile and non-living, non-combative. Non oh, I love that quake noise. Ouch. Just eat that. I ate a grenade in the face and he laughed. Bottoms up and the devil laughs. Say that's gonna blow the shit out of it. at least the main guy make the other guy really sad because the splash damage fucked his butt um uh, enjoyably he enjoyed the butt you know the, the the butt action as all of us should but it was splash damage all the all the while sequence completed do i win Ouch. I don't think these rocket guys don't like me too much. There, there are, there, are, there is indeed some polar crossing. Well, there you go. That's good to know. It's pretty slick. The day I learned. I think that sequence completed thing is something you have to do. At first, I was thinking like, oh, cool, that's a cool optional thing that I just did. Maybe it's not optional at all. Is this fellow a living person, or is it like just a statue? It's a statue. Less it Yes. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. It's not zero, though. It's, I mean, honestly, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Because, yeah, if you're out in the, in the Arctic, if you're out in the poles, and there's not a ton of options. So that's the reality. I love games like this that have terminals that look like this. Uh, give me one second. I need to check on the doggy. She's making a weird noise. Actually, I think she's... Maybe she's sleeping? Is that a sleeping noise? Hold on. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. I'm hearing like a little squeak, but it's like with a, with a regular frequency. I think that's like... 
I think she's like sleeping one sec. She's sound asleep right now. She's making like little like little squeak noises. Yeah, she's like, I don't know if she's having little doggy dreams or what, but she's just making little doggy noises. What if I went around the north side? I guess I don't know enough about geography to advise on if that would be like a not good idea. You know, presumably there had to have been somebody who who had the opportunity to do so and either tried it and said it was not worth it or or couldn't do it. You know, presumably someone had to have thought about that. But yeah, I uh, I wouldn't be able to to advise on like on why that could or couldn't be done. Where to go? I'm curious what the scheme might be though. I'm ski I'm devising a plan. I'm devising a scheme. Rockets. Let's see him. Let's see, I can probably just stun lock his ass. I keep looking at that statue. I'm just like waiting for him to come to life. Ow, ow, ow. Just I have a feeling. Feeling deep inside. Oh yes. Oh yes. I have top that was lasering the ouch. Hey, Stop being alive. There we go. Jesus. A lot of shot, a lot of bullets. It's in, ge in general going south. This Are you trying to say that the south just the south full stop is <laughs> is not advisable because i'll have you know i live in missouri and i agree i'm in the south and you're not wrong hey i resemble that remark i i know what you're getting at though yeah it's like generally if it's it's if it's been agreed upon to be a Thing to, to, to avoid if possible. There we go. That was lasering me and I was not enjoying it. For the most part, it was not sexually gratifying. For the most part. Wrong button. There we go. I haven't got these fly fellows in a while. Ouch. The saying please? Please. Up, up, up. I knew this guy. I saw that coming from a mile away. Like if I bungle this jump. I bunger it up and I bunged it. I bunged it real good. Or bunged something. Or, or someone. Ideally, if it's someone you really know and trust, you know. Someone, you, someone you, you've known for a while, you know, you, you always kind of felt, you know, a, a, desi a desire to bung with them, but, you know, you weren't, weren't sure they'd be down. But then, you know, you, you get a couple drinks in you and you kind of give you the look. The, the 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 look that maybe they'd be down to bung. So you know, with, with protection, obviously, you know, got got to be responsible. I heard somebody die randomly. Guess this conversation topic is not for everybody. Oh, big guy, big man on campus. Oh, I used the gold the gold key card unbeknownst to me. Just standing behind the door or in front of the door. The moment it became available. Unstable says, yo, we, yo, we bungin'? I can't remember. Now, now, 
I'm, I'm just kind of in my own head here. I, I don't exactly know what was going on. But I think what happened is that I was like, I, I said I bungered up the jump. Then I said I bunged it, and I bunged it really hard. And then I was like, oh, yeah. It's been a while since I've bunged. And I was like, you ever, you ever bung somebody that you just kind of really connect with? And then it kind of got weird. Also, Dudson, with the raid, my man. What's up, bud? We're having uh, a nice little conversation about... Well, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of ways it can be interpreted. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the raid. Let's do a quick shout-out for Mr. Dutson here. A fellow daredevil, fellow daredrop uh, uh, practitioner, streamer extraordinaire. He's doing Escape Simulator, which is awesome. I haven't played it myself, but I've watched a whole bunch of people play it. It looks fun. You probably recognize this game. This game is uh, one of the daredrop campaign games. I'm just starting it tonight. Getting a little bit late to this one, obviously. The um, campaign only lasts for another nine, I think eight or nine days. But that's plenty of time, hopefully, to beat it because I don't think it's a very long game. And this is actually the prequel. This is a, a Quake mod. This is not the main game. This is just a Quake mod that was made by the same developers that kind of tells the events leading up to Slave Zero X. I was telling folks earlier that this is kind of a weird case because Slave Zero X itself is a prequel. Slave Zero X is a prequel to the Dreamcast game Slave Zero. It was also avail available on PC back in the day. But it was a Dreamcast game called Slave Zero, a sci-fi adventure game. And um, the main game that we will be eventually playing, Slave Zero X, is a prequel to that game. So this Quake mod is a prequel to a prequel. Called a pre-prequel. There's Big Guy. Exploded by his own grenade. And my bullets. Oh no, that's okay. I've done the exact same thing, yeah. I've done the exact same thing where I'm like, alright. Alright, let's wrap it up, fel you know, folks. Thanks for watching. And then and then I look to my left. Right, right, your left, my right. I look to the other monitor. And I'm like, oh. Oh, uh, no one has heard me for the past, like, 10 seconds. I just, I fucking jump scared myself with a... By queuing up the raid and kind of forgetting about it. Uh, what are your thoughts, by the way, on Escape Simulator? And, same offer as always, I'm down if you have any clips to share. Got any clips to share? I'd love to see it. No pressure, obviously, but... Oh! I can get it. Sequence completed. Oh, I felt the switch was right here. As I fell down the hole, as I fell down the, that jump, as, as I was floundering, I apparently uh, floundered and accidentally hit the, the go button. What this... Ah, I want the secret. I want... I want the goods, man. But yeah, escape room games. Have you ever had a chance to do an, uh, a uh, one of the like escape room, the IRL escape room things? Because I have some friends that love doing that kind of shit. I've never done one myself, but I'm thinking the next opportunity it comes up, I might try it. There we go. Because I love escape rooms. Yeah, that sounds fun, bud. Ultros, yeah, dude, that game is dope as hell. I'm actually in a similar boat. I'm going to try some, like, last-minute dares for Ultros, because we played that game for the first time a couple days ago. Really, really liked it, but I need to, like... I don't know if I'm going to practice it off-stream. I'm going to try for that um, that seven-minute dare, or six-minute dare. I think you were the one that did it so far, in the Discord, at least. But, like, I need to, I need to get good. I need to practice... Maybe not practice, but I need to, like, kind of plan out my moves. Oh, big man. Big man on campus. I need to plan out my moves. I want to be, like, a like a chess grandmaster. Knowing my moves ahead of time. Because, uh, you know, seven minutes is not a long time. But, yeah, I do want to play that game again. That game looks really... It is very good. The very, very good one. I did the hardest one. Is it well, the hardest one? The, uh, what's it called? Um... Um, heck, what's it called? The the pacifist run, right? The pacifist run. As I assume, I assume the pacifist run had like a little bit more to it than being able to. Well, I guess I guess it kind of makes sense though, because you'd be starting a fresh run. I like. I assumed you'd need more of the little brain pieces to like auto lock in. To, to like lock in uh, upgrades that kind of thing so it persists through loops oh okay oh boy 
kind of backed myself into a corner, didn't I? I like how when we sort of started to exit this door, it like forced us out. Very, very subtle. It's a big setup. I gotcha. I gotcha. Connect the towers. So careful planning and careful planting. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. And yeah, like you said, ooh, that's impressive because yeah, that that's, I mean, I like the planting element of the game. I think it's a cool mechanic, but that is a level of dedication that I don't know if I have, I don't know if I have it, if I have it in me, but I do appreciate the fact that that's available for the diehards, for the people that really want to get the, the full experience for the game. There's one more. So they are, they're always in twos, so it would seem. There we go. We got Chucky in the house, by the way. What's up, Chucky? Thank you for joining in. Joining in from the raid, by the way, with C. Dutson. Dutson's a cool homie. He is a friend of the channel, fellow daredevil, and a fellow variety streamer, and an enjoyer of indie games. So I, is it... Okay, it doesn't stay compressed. There's got to be something that's doing then. Open this guy. I'm trying to line up. Speaking of planning, I'm trying to line up the shot for... Not you. Line up the shot for the uh, big guy in the corner. Uh, that guy is a fiend. This is, for those who are familiar with Quake, that is the... This, this Quake mod's version of the Interdimensional Shambler. Interdimensional Sham Wower. I don't want him to have line of sight on me too hard because you saw he was starting to queue up a lightning arc. That was going to be getting me real good. The default ending? Yeah, understandable. Yeah, yeah, no way for the 100%. Again, I, I think it's great that it's uh, that it's available. For those who want to try the gauntlet, I am... That's, that's, I am not, I'm not that person. Let's see, these guys are being sneaky. By the I got a bunch of oozy bullets that I've been queuing up for just such an occasion. And they're just running straight at me in a straight line. So, it works. It works. No, I appreciate that. They, and thank you again for the raid. Dudson's raided us a whole bunch of times. Dudson's one of those responsible individuals that goes to bed at a reasonable time. And is probably a well-rusted and productive member of society. Whereas I'm one of those weirdos that streams, you know, until like 1 a.m. Central Time. And then is, uh, you know, kind of sleepy the next day for work. I'm always like, man, why am I kind of sleepy today? I have no idea. Hmm, must be a mystery. Complete and utter mystery. I guess I'll never know. But I, I, I do appreciate you, bud. Comes out in April. That's coming out soon. It's coming in hot real soon. He says, oh, don't worry, Alex. I'm not responsible. Well, you're 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 less irresponsible than I am. We'll, we'll, we'll say it that way. How's that? Less irresponsible. It, it's, it's all relative. Whoa! And XGF with the raid as well. See, Dudson just came in hot. And then XGF said, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Um, I'm nearly arrive. I'm nearly arriving as well. Thank you, XGF, for the raid. Dudson says, future me can suck eggs. Which is to say, the times you think to yourself, I'm going to stay up a little bit later and play more video games and I'll just be tired tomorrow and just kind of deal with it. Yeah, yeah, we've all we've all been in that situation and and like in some way live to tell the tale or, or live to regret uh, our decisions. We think like, nah, I can handle it. I'll be fine tomorrow. I'll just be a little bit tired. I won't curse right now, me. Future me won't curse right now, me, for my transgressions. And of course, the reality is never quite so simple, is it? Uh, XGF, thank you for that raid. She says, what to do, XGF? That's so nice, bud. Thank you, my friend. We are playing a, uh, a a Quake mod, actually. How did that not kill those guys? What the hell? We're playing a Quake mod. We're having a good old time. This is a, uh, a, a, a Quake mod that specifically shows the events before 
the game we're going to be streaming properly. So the, the game we're going to be streaming shortly is called Slave Zero X. It is a 2D platforming or a 2D beat em up game. And what better way to show the the uh, events before a 2D beat em up slide, like side scroller game than by having a Quake mod made by the same developers that that, that has us uh, kind of experience what happens before for the main thing. The fun thing too is that it gets weirder because Slave Zero X is itself a prequel to another game called Slave Zero which came out on the Dreamcast in 1999 and Windows and, and I think PC. So this is what we're doing right now is a prequel to a prequel. I've been saying that it's a pre prequel. Also I fell down. I'm gonna see if there's anything cool up here. Um, Probably not. Probably not. But might be something cool up here. A bunch of bunch of resources. Cool. By the way, XGF, whenever somebody raids, you probably know this all too well. Whenever someone raids, I always love to ask if anyone's got any clips to share. So if you or any, any of your uh, lovely viewers have any clips you want to share. Whoa, Jesus. From a recent or even not so recent stream. It could have been from a couple days ago. It could have been from a couple hours ago. It could have been from uh, a few years ago. It's perfectly fine. Also, I got all the secrets in that level. I'm I'm feeling really good about myself. Feeling really cool. <laughs> you ever just scream at the top of your lungs, hoping that um, you making a lot of noise will stop the person that hold that has multiple weapons brandished? It'll somehow stop him from using them. Like them screaming is gonna make me say like, you know what? Nah, I don't want to shoot this guy. Also, little fella, little fella alert. Is there any little fellas in the chat? Um, I hope you feel seen. As a little fella myself, I'm feeling pretty good. Whoa! Beloved by the bullet. Big guy up there. He's he's shooting stuff at me, which I would rather he not. Blast that guy to smithereens. Sand of the one laser shot will do him real good. Sounds good, Rusa. There's no clippies today. Well, if you change your mind, or like I said, if one of your viewers has something, or if you think of something, um, that could also include YouTube shorts or TikTok videos. It is all it's all gravy. So, uh, these are big melee boys. And I try to do it. I oh, there's some infighting, because this is a quake mod after all. So infighting does happen sometimes, where they were cross. If enough friendly fire happens between bad guys, they will get unfriendly towards each other. Also, because it's a quake mod, you can kind of cheese the uh, enemy pathfinding a bit, which is always fun. It's a grenade fella up there. There's a bunch of things up top. Makes me... There we go, if I can just blast some explodies. So small down my sights. This might be the last level in this campaign, in this, in this, um, mod... mod pack of sorts. There we go. Got the right. The right big weapon. Oh, infighting. There we go. I mean, this guy's gonna lose. This guy right here is gonna lose. Because that guy's like really good at melee. I'll be dipped. He actually lost. The big fella actually lost. I thought for sure he was gonna get got. He must have taken a lot of damage in that first rocket I fired, because I thought ain't no way. Ain't no way the chain sword chain sword guy was gonna get lost. And yet, and yet here we are. Okay, so platforming challenges in a first-person shooter game. Everyone's favorite. Oh, nice secret. Full weapon storage cache. It's like a bunk area for the bad guys like to sleep. So I'm going to go out on a limb. Oh, I'm just going to die is what I'm going to do. Oh, thank goodness you teleported. Oof. All right, so I can just do this. 
hopefully an in presumably an infinite number of times. And suffer no consequences. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna laugh if there is indeed a limited number of uses. There we go. So that actually is kind of nice though. It allows me to explore without too many concerns for, for my personal health. And also, I, yeah, I kind of also wanted to poke around a little bit more before I commit to going the right way. I'm one of those weirdos that likes, likes going the wrong way at first whenever there's an opportunity to do so. Still hungry. Actually, I had a very good dinner. I had a very good dinner. So no, I, I am very well fed. Um, Grace and I went to a... Um, uh, a nearby brewery that makes pretty good food. Like, I don't, I don't drink at all. So I don't give a shit about going to a brewery to drink. But there's a pretty good brewery nearby that makes pretty good food. And I got a, a really nice chickpea curry. Now, I know you're thinking, you're probably thinking, Alex, you went to a brewery and got curry? What? That's some fucking psychopath behavior shit, dude. And I'm here to tell you, it's, it's really good. It's really good. And I had a really, I'd have it, I'd had it before, so I knew I was getting myself into. I remember it being a lot spicy, though, is the only downside. It was very good. Only the guilty need have fear. That's, that's, that's the kind of thing you would expect to see on one of those no fear tap out shirts. Those fucking tough guy MMA shirts. But no, it was it was good. It was good. It wasn't as spicy as I remember, but it was still pretty good. Even though, indeed, it was some cringy ass uh, going to a brewery to get curry. It was still very good. I mean, it wasn't as good as like proper curry, obviously, but it was still pretty good. Nice. Oh, basically got some fish and chips. Oh, and the the most important part, most important part about the dinner is that it was our first time bringing Bonnie out. Uh, I mean, we've taken her outside, obviously, but it was our first time getting to take our, our, our new doggy take, uh, to take Sweet Bonnie Girl, um, like, out to, like, a, like a public place to, like, hang out and, and, you know, have some food. We went out for ice cream afterwards, so it was a really nice evening. Oh, boy, this is a lot of fellas. A lot of fellas, and it's a good thing we got that quad damage because that's a lot of... A lot of shit going down here. Every everything spawned all at once. Everyone, everyone's here. I've started to figure out. It took me a couple of centuries, but I'm starting to figure out that the voice that happens when bad guys die—that's our guy. That's our protagonist. I thought it was like somebody taunting us. No, that that's us. take things all the wrong ways well you know sometimes taking something the wrong way can can lead to new life discoveries ouch i saw i saw the little glowy stuff and i thought it was like this was a positive thing but i thought little blue glowies meant oh this is gonna heal you that does the opposite of healing me that that anti heals me oh my god what the hell is this oh okay so that lets us go into to that thingy hold on i should replenish my Supplies. Some stuff here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, fancy. Okay. So if you wanted to, you could have gone this way. I could have gone this way. All right. So there, there's maybe more, more secrety secrets. It's expiring, so I gotta go fast. It's gonna hurt. Ouch! It's already hurting. There we go. All right, so I, I realize now that that was a gambit that did not go well in my favor, but that's okay. Do I not have the? Oh, I don't, because I used all the all the juice. I used all the laser juice. So rockets, it is then. Yeah, I have no uh, none of the laser gun stuff. Not enough ammo. What was I saying about taking something the wrong way? About, you know, you, sometimes you stick it in the wrong hole and you think to yourself, wow, that's really cool. And that, you know, that, that's, that's pleasurable in a way I wasn't, exper I wasn't expecting. Um, that, that's, that's, what we're, that's what we mean by, by, like, you know, taking it the wrong way or taking it an unintended way. That's what we mean, right? Just we're all on the same page. 
garbanzo beans and chickpeas. Yeah. Yeah, my, my favorite shark, shark value is like, I don't usually have to pay $20 to have a garbanzo on my face. There's, there's a number of variations. And they are all delightful and they're all fucked up and, uh, and they're all amazing. I'll feel a lot more confident once I get some laser ammo. And also some health in my uh, in my diet. I wonder why I lost so much health earlier. I mean, well, dumpster diving into the sewage water probably didn't. It butt chugging sewage water probably didn't help. Probably wasn't doing me any favors. But uh, I I was thinking that the original original or not the original the secondary thing that was not doing me any favors was. Um, was, uh, was those are those rocket fiends, grenade fiends. Let's get some health. I heard a hey you. Also trying to keep an eye out for more health. So yeah, my guy got tore up a little bit. He anti-healed me. I know. If only there was a word in the English language to des to describe what that entails, but oh, that'd be impossible. We know that no such word exists. Silver key card, which I had in the previous level. You're telling me I can't just bring that with me? You're gonna stand there with your face and tell me that you can't just bring a key card from room to room, from level to level. Down, boy. Down, boy. Got some Cru Cruella de Vil vibes with that voice. Kind of, kind of femme fatale kind of thing going on there. Oh, didn't expect that to open. Can I make that jump? Hmm, that's locked. This one's on okay. That's where that's the way you want to go, where we're expected to go. So there's stuff here. It's kind of nice. And there was another window that was open. Next door. Oh, never mind. That just leads to this. Yes, yeah, so that, that's a dead end. Oh, wait. No, I've not been in here, though. Oh, big boy. Big boy. Oof. It's okay. I was gonna say, I think if I'm, if I'm persistent, I'll be able to drop his ass. Nice horror, horror like movie vibes, with uh, with the room like that, like that. That's some aliens, um, sci like xenomorph shit. Just, just something, something evil and or terrifying is lurking in a room like this, that is either gonna rip my face off or. Uh, impregnate me with a uh, xenomorph facehugger thing and force me to bear a uh, uh, some kind of alien baby that burst out of my chest be a ch uh, a la chest burster got armor to the tune of got item from Mario Kart or uh, Mario Party this door's open now actually was that already open not this one but the other one Key for uh T C. Oh, let me think about that. Um, but 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 I'm trying to think what that acronym is. But I'm drawing a blank. Was it from a previous? It was it from a uh, like yeah like a, for uh, presumed for a raffle. A presumed key a key for a presumed raffle. Yeah, there have been a couple times where we would complete a dare in this game. We, uh, or rather, with dare drop, that is. We would complete a dare. And, like, usually I wouldn't say it, but I think to myself, like, yeah, I would, like, see the reward. And I'd go, damn, that sounds amazing. Oh, the name of the game is... Oh, shit. It's, it's not, oh, shit. It's, it's Chia to Chia. Interesting. 
Yeah, I've never heard that. I've, I don't think I've heard of this game before, though. So, Chia. Tish, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but Chia, maybe. I'm sure why Automod picked up on that. That was kind of odd. But yeah, it's the character's name. Interesting. I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, if really when it comes down to it, I'm pretty sure that the general gist is that you don't have to give the things away. You know, you're not you're not contractually bound to give these things away. So, so uh, you know, I I wouldn't hold it against you. The secret would be safe with me. I won't snitch. Cargo lift. That ha something similar happened where I was really tempted a while back because we participated in the su oh he he actually made the jump. We participated in the super arcade football. Dare drop campaign, which was which was a pretty fun little game. That, that was like a fun game to kind of play around with. And we went for the highest tier dare in that game, which is to say beat the campaign. And by for, by doing so, we unlocked a um You look so small down my sight. We unlocked a a um a, a, a jersey, a soccer jersey. Where you would you would specify what name you want emblazoned on the jersey on the back of the jersey And it was like super arcade football branded and uh, I Thought that was pretty sick and I never saw pictures of it But I was like man that actually sounds kind of sick and I, I and I really like the game So like you know it makes sense to you know sport sport the threads so I was tempted. I was like, oh, I could just not tell anybody. But I was like, nah, no, nah, it's in the spirit of dare drop. I should, I should do the, I should do the giveaway. But I was like, man, it's pretty sweet. It sounds pretty sweet at least. I'm trying to hold together. We, we lost quite a lot, a lot of life earlier. Although I did gain a lot of it back. So we're in much better shape. If I can get a bio suit. I'd leafly jump into the poison shit water. And throw caution to the wind. Have a good night, Dotson. Thank you again for that raid, my man. You're you're always so dang generous. One of these days, I'm gonna go to bed at a reasonable hour, and I'll be able to raid you. The shoe will be on the other foot. Oh, big mans, big big boys. Shoe once, and then uh, just rockets. No, just just rockets for me, thanks. I I, I had a big dinner. Uh, just rockets for me, thank you. If I could get up there somehow. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. In fact, if I... There we go. I can get over there now, and I can get... The... I can get the quad damage. It might not be wise when you get the quad damage. Maybe I should have gotten it earlier, because it would have made fighting that one guy a little bit easier. Ooh, some more plasma giblets. More plasma juice. That's a pretty nice secret. Um, can I do anything with this vantage point? No, we've already been here before. Well, not this exact platform, but we've been in this area before. I'll go and grab the quad damage and just accept that I probably won't be able to do anything with it. But... Just because it's a secret area, I get the satisfaction of having cleaned... Cleared, rather, a secret. That's them to spawn right in front of me. So I could zap their asses. That was very generous. Um Guess we're going down then. And I've got the quad damage, thank goodness, because otherwise that would have been a little bit stressful. We got Doo Doo Dad, what's up, bud? We got Ace Roy, we got Meerkat. Yo, all the freaking homies popping in all at once. What the heck? Did I fucking butt dial the super hobbits, super homies, uh, like bat signal for the sky, and everyone just kind of got the bat call at the same time? Okay, I, was, I thought the exact same thing. I thought the exact same thing, Ace. Where I was like, "Damn, the dudes with the very elegant capes and big—no, not the, he didn't have hammers, but he had. A, they have a big cape, and they're e enormously tall, and they have a really cool, ch some kind of chain sword thing." With a very prominent hilt. I was like, yo, is that motherfucking Abelard from Rogue Trader? Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader as I live and breathe. 
Yeah, I thought the same thing. This game does take place well outside of, I think, the Warhammer universe. This is Slaves... This is, uh, episode Enyo, which is a prequel of sorts to Slave Zero X, but it was made by the same developers, and it's part of the same Dare Drop campaign. And they specified that when if you were to stream this episode, still set the category as Dare Drop, as a uh, Slave Zero X. Save Zero X itself is a side-scroller beat-em-up game, whereas this, obviously, is a Quake mod. Again, it's made by the same developers. It's a Quake mod. And, um, I was telling people earlier, it's a little bit funny because this game, uh, because Slave Zero X is the main game, but Slave Zero X is itself a prequel to Slave Zero, which, which came out, um, that's fine, we got the teleport. Which came up for the Dreamcast back in 1999 and is a kind of a sci-fi adventure game, kind of adventure, action adventure game, I guess. With some like tactics elements to it. Jump. There we go. What am I doing? Oh, come on. Man, this man's really going around town, huh? I'll just, I'll just shoot things that are hit scan. Okay, I'll just do it that way. So, what we're playing right now, I've been saying, is it's a pre prequel. Prequel to a prequel. What's up, Ultimax? Good to see you, bud. Meerkat says, I've been here the whole time. Uh, fapping loudly, I hope. I thought I was hearing something in the other room. Uh, it was- it was not accompanied by the usual crying, Meerkat. I'm gonna have to ask you to, uh, um, correct that, please. In fact, I'm not asking, I'm demanding. Aware of your own development. Um, you're not re you're not referring to your balls dropping, dude to dead. You're not referring to your balls dropping. You're referring to- and you're not referring to, like, software development, like, developing code I'm, I'm like I'm like piecing together what you could be getting at by that maybe I should not be exclusively shit posting shit shit talking and maybe I should answer seriously um also yeah we're just retracing our steps we have the we have the big thing we were looking for we have the big key See if I can just blast these fools. In a more general sense, so Nick, if you mean like being aware of like your your growth as a person, like you know maturing and and learning and and being aware of the fact that that you know you are you're you're, you're you are growing as a person, you are becoming more. You're kind of coming into your own. You're you're improving. You're learning. It's constructive. It's not a bad thing. It's, if anything, I would say it's a good thing to be aware of. But maybe there could be some, like, self-awareness-ness that can be a little bit off-putting. Like, maybe a little bit, like... If you're, like, too hyper-aware, I could see where maybe that would lead to some discomfort. But I, I would see it as mostly a good thing. If I'm, like, extremely aware, like, wow, this time last year, shit was fucked, and now I am unfucked. Or I was getting fucked, now I'm the fuck- Now I was the fucky, now I'm the fucker. Like, I would see that as a good thing. Unless I was regressing and I was undeveloping. Uh, Meerkat says, I was not fapping loudly and crying at the same time. I was, uh, looking at D&D &D feats. I- I- I don't- I'm hearing the same sentence. I'm hearing the same sentence. Back to back. That's like saying, I wasn't fapping, I was masturbating. Like that, th those are two words for the same thing. You're telling me you can look at Dungeons and Dragons stuff and not get a boner? Doubt. Hard doubt. That was fix flexing your butt cheeks to make them clap. Meerkat, I thought I'd clapped your cheeks enough time to recognize the difference between those two noises, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your word on that one. You wouldn't, Meerkat wouldn't lie about something like that. He's, he's too, he's got too much integrity. He wouldn't do it to me like that. I actually didn't realize that respawned, by the way. The 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 slorpy the slorpy boys. I didn't realize those those respawned. Pretty cool. 
grab the health, and then jump back the fuck out of here. There we go. This will re it was this will run out, and when it runs out, it's gonna get real gross. Whoa, look at that guy! No, they could jump like that. That was really cool. There's the there's the Warhammer fellas. You look so small down my sight. Got him. Altered states. Uh, I don't think I recognize that one actually. Going through life oblivious. Yeah, I, I've I've had moments where I've thought to myself like, oh man, it, it probably would be like easier to be able to kind of turn my brain off to some things. Maybe that's kind of more what Doo Doo was getting at, like just being just being hyper aware of just things in general. There there are there have absolutely been been times recent and and long ago where I've thought to myself like, yeah, I wish I could turn my brain off to that to that that thing that I'm aware of. It'd, it'd be nice to. Um, some things would be made easier for sure. Like you know, you can, like I could, I could attempt to delude myself, but I know better. I think, I think I know better. So it's like, nope, this is knowledge, that, or maybe not knowledge, but this is like just awareness that I have that I can't shuffle off. It's because you're in it. Oh, because you were sitting right. Okay, that makes sense, Mirka. Thank you. Just stuff to be aware of. It's just stuff that draws. Okay, yeah. Well, and it's you know, and, and of course it's different for everybody, obviously. Silver key card. I don't know what this is gonna entail. I'm gonna do a quick save. These guys are gonna get real weird. Uh, do I have rockets? I do have rockets. There's a lot of shit happening here, man. It's almost like there's a lot of bad guys, and it's almost like they don't like me. Alex, you're too hard on yourself. Of course these bad guys like you. I don't know. They're really trying to kill me. Maybe I did something to piss them off. But yeah. But yeah, when it comes to, yeah, just either how things evolve or how things grow. Or, or I mean, that's the thing too. Like, you know, everyone's journey is different. Everyone's situation is different. You know, sometimes people have setbacks. Setbacks do happen. It happens to the best of us. And maybe in those moments, then yeah, it's like, oh, it's like, oh damn, dude, I was doing great. And now I've you know, I've I've had I've had some steps down, you know, some 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 backtracking and progress. But I don't know. I still see it all as working towards working towards a life experience, you know. We we are all the summary, the, the summations of our pros and our cons are the things we've lived through and the things we've we've endured. The challenges we face, the the good shit, the bad shit. So, I mean, the setbacks are shitty, and it, and it's it's okay to feel it's okay to you know feel kind of shitty about it. like it's okay to to feel frustrated, but at the same time, it's like yeah, that's you know that's that's part of the ball game. You know, it's it's a it's a non-linear journey. Get some chalky milk. That sounds nice. Chalky milk, especially if it does not make me shit myself. That that'd be even better. It'd be less stressful. Yeah. Yeah. It just makes the stress go. Well, I mean, there's that too. Yeah, there's, there's, you know, there's ways to delay, delay the sag, or, or to delay the, the, the un, the uncomfy. And some people do so with, you know, drugs and alcohol. Like, you know, there, like some people find ways to kind of dull these things. But yeah, at, at best, it is a, a temporary solution. And of course, there's usually pretty unpleasant downsides. Emotional intelligence is knowing who you are. Can't understand empathy if you don't understand yourself. Hmm. That's that's an interesting consideration. Would I say that emotional intelligence is uh, is knowing who you are? Um I that's it's I would say it's a part of it. I'd say it's a part of it. Um and uh, and probably empathy, a, a big way at least to develop empathy probably is to have like a solid, solid foundation. 
a solid foundation for oneself. I, I think that's like generally true. I don't know if it's like, you know, the, the end all be all, but it's, you know, it's, it's very much, very much relevant. Very much part of the conversation, no doubt. I'll confess, I'm, 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 I'm kind of a scrub when it comes to this kind of thing, you know, like I, I have answers for these questions for myself. But I don't know if I have like good answers that could be applied. Kind of in, in a general sense. But I mean, yeah, in a general, in a general sense, like, you know, just for me at least. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. That is correct, Beercap. That is also correct. We can, we can have philosophical conversations at the same time or in the same breath when we're talking about which alien waifu sucks the best dick. That This is all correct. What's up, Aleph? Good to see you, bud. Lounging in my chair, casting devious stares in my direction. Is it a dream? Aleph, when I saw that comment, who's lounging in my chair, casting devious stares in my direction. I feel a little bad because I said this earlier. I don't like using... I don't like... Well, that's not true. I do like doing this. I try, no, I try not to do it. I try not to enjoy it. I'll say it that way. I try not to enjoy it. I try not to enjoy using the same joke twice in quick succession. But I'll say it anyway. You come into my house, call me gay, suck my dick. Oh, whose dick we sucking now? Oh, shit. It's going to be a fucking... Lightning round, oh my god. Maybe literally, because I hear lots of lightning. Uh, I don't have enough... I don't have enough of this quad kill, quad damage thing to kill everybody. So all I can do is kill a bunch. Kill a bunch and hope for the best. It's gonna wear, it actually just wore off, yeah. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Oh, shit. Did that hurt? Oh! That's unfortunate. So, yeah, if I, if I wouldn't have made that save earlier, I would have had to have gone through that whole level all over again. How to milk a centaur? That was a fun one. I remember how, how to milk a centaur. How to train your dragon. How to milk your centaur. Sex and candy. I, I remember this song. I don't remember much else from that band, but I do remember the song. Big sport. Big sportin'. I was gonna say, I'm hoping that to cause some infighting, but it might not be happening. Might not be crappening. Oh, still alive. And believe me, I am. When Grayson and I went to get dinner earlier at the cool restaurant slash brewery in which at which we ate. I couldn't help but notice, I didn't see anything at the time, but I couldn't help but notice that the radio station that was playing in the background was pretty much entirely 90s songs. Um, I heard, what was it, The Verve, Bittersweet Symphony. I heard, I think, some Soundgarden at one point. And maybe some Pearl Jam. Like, I heard, a, you know, a number of songs where I was like, oh yeah, that song. And I didn't see anything, but in... At one point, it occurred to me, I was like, oh, this is, this is kind of like when I was a kid and I would hear 80s radio, it, like I would hear 80s music and be like, oh, that's so fun and retro. I was like, oh, it's not the worst. It's, there's a very good chance we're not dialed into a 90s radio station. We're dialed into a like, you know, cool hip retro station. The same way you would see like cool hip 80s retro stations. So... And this is not like a new observation. Like, it's not like I'm like, wow, the 90s were 30 years ago. It's just like, 
Oh, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a thing that happens more often. This is gonna be a thing that's gonna happen more often, and we just gotta, you know, just gotta roll with it. What what else can I do about it, right? Let's lean into it. When that room, that challenge, that big room happens again, I'm gonna be so ready. Now I know what to expect. We actually almost lived. We almost lived. They are. You're absolutely correct, Aleph. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole big thing. I think that was part of why the band kind of called it quits for a while. Because they were like so f fucking bummed about that whole, that whole way that they really did get screwed. I mean, let's be honest. I think most of us would agree. They, they got a raw deal out of how that all shook out. It was not their fault because it was the producer, right? The producer was the one that used the uncleared sample. It wasn't their fault that the dude used an uncleared sample and kind of fucked them out of any amount of success that song should have given them. And it was, let's be real, it was a sample, yes, for a orchestral cover of... This could be the last time, I think. It was like a license. It was a licensed orchestral cover. And because it was a licensed orchestral cover, technically it was owned by the Rolling Stones, uh, I guess public uh, publishing company, production company, I don't know. And, uh, you know, technically, 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 through, through many layers of technical lawsuit, lawsuitery bullshit, the Verve were like, uh, the, the, the man their management team was like, uh, all right, uh, sorry. You, 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 you're never gonna get anything for the song. I think at some point, at, at some point, Maybe at some point, maybe they might have gotten some kind of deal struck or maybe the Rolling Stones production company relented. I think somewhere along the way. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. I think somewhere along the way, somebody might have taken mercy. Somebody on the Rolling Stones side might have taken mercy and realized that they got fucked. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I th thought I read at some point somewhat recently, that is. That uh, there was something of a happy end. You're telling me, oh man, I thought there was something here, bro. I was like, oh, there's got to be something in here. That's why I went back, like a dumbass. So now I got it. Well, I guess I, have, I get full health again, but still, like a dumbass. Regardless, um, do I want to try that? Oh, we'll do this one because I want something rapid fire for sure. Three. I want something rapid fire for Shersies. You know, the big guys are the big focus, as they should be. Hence why they are, indeed, big guys. Oh. Ouch. I'll take that. I'll take the quad damage as well. Oop. Yeah, knowing that there was other health and I guess I was just not paying very close attention to my health and armor earlier. Just gonna charge in all willy-nilly. The room shifts. I do appreciate this room is like, ever evolving and shifting. Talk, talk about being aware of evolution and shifting. Jumping down. I fucked him up already. I, I kind of prefer the fact this is hit scan. Makes it pretty sick. Room is still shifting and I don't know if there's more... more quad damage. There might not be. I don't think there is. But, I have, uh, snipers. Ash. Come on. Show me that pink mix. Show me that pink dick? Is that what she said? I think she said, show me that pink mist, but I would much rather she said, yeah, show me that pink dick. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Show me that pink dick. There we go. I'll do it. Expecting to hear, expecting to hear Zeppelin, you instead hear Weezer. Yeah. I mean, it's again, it's not like a thing that's like a new concept to me, but it's something that's only going to happen more and more. I remember as a kid watching. 
Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, you know, the, the, the expected things that kids watch. I remember there would be commercials for, for you know, that were kind of in, 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 um, intended towards stuff that the parents might appreciate. And one of those things was like commercials for um, music compilations, like 80s greatest hits. And uh, I remember there was one called Buzz Cuts. It was like alternative 90s music. And in fact, that's where I, that's where Sucks and Candy. That's where I first heard that song. It was from that com that infomercial, that commercial. And um, and as a kid, I remember being like, "Wow, this music was from 10 years ago. That's so long ago." And now I would imagine that yeah, there's if, if those commercials. I don't think they exist nowadays. But if they were to run those commercials again, they'd be playing Adele. They'd be playing Amy Winehouse stuff that was. Not that long ago in the grand scheme of things, but was over 10 years ago. And that's a weird thing to me. Like, I don't think so much about, like... I don't think so much about, wow, the 90s were 30 years ago. I've, I've made peace with that. What's weird to me is the idea of, as a kid, 10 years ago felt like an eternity ago. Whereas nowadays, 10 years ago, was, like I said, Amy Winehouse, Adele... I mean, Adele's still around, obviously, but, like... These artists that like really broke into the mainstream 10, 15 year old years ago. Also, Wings? Oh, I get. Oh, okay. You just press jump to. Oh, okay. You can't just jump. You can't. You can't fly forever. You can't fly forever. Okay, fair. All right. I need to. I need to experiment with this before I just get myself killed. I really did just find some wings and put them on. That's what I did. I'm, just, I'm wasting so much ammo here. That's awesome. Did I, was that a Red Bull? Rockstar. Can a Red Bull gave me wings? I always like that when Gibbs fall into water, it makes a big splooshy. Big splooshy splash. Wait, what's up? Eagle Wiggles. Arms wide open. What about legs wide open? Tag them both with lasers. So now, bullets will end them. Because the laser does a lot of damage. Bullets doesn't do as much, but laser whittles them down quite a bunch. Get out of here. He's out of there. As, as requested. As demanded. So now we have... Oh, I could have got the quad quad damage. E3 quad damage. Feels like things just kind of started three years ago. I mean, that that is that is how it felt to me in various times of my life. Like, that's how I felt, you know, kind of after I graduated college. I was like, all right, now I get to, like, actually do things. Yeah, yeah, so you can't just fly forever. You don't have infinite stamina. Boop, 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 boop. Fucking hell. It's, it's actually harder than I, was, than I was thinking. There's like a momentum aspect to it, which is interesting. Sort of like a low grav momentum thing going on. It's interesting. You also lose mom You Speaking of momentum, you lose momentum very easily. Like if you go up against a wall, you'll kind of you'll kind of bounce off of it, and it's hard to get more... Or lateral gains. All right. Let's see, we're gonna this is gonna throw, throw some more fellas at me. I'm not afraid of the fellas. I'm not afraid of the fellas, although I'm concerned about the Cinderellas. Oh shit! 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 I want the quad damage. Yep. Yep. Up. 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 Yeah, the the wings are interesting. What's up, Elgaso? Say big, big explodies. Did that hurt? Oh, big man! Ouch! Quad damage is where it's at. Temporarily, but it is where it's at. Exp 
splooshes. Always down for a good big sploosh. All right. We still have our wings, which are pretty cool. I kind of want to... I mean, there's the temptation to just explore everything now that we have wings. Like, oh, wait, I can get to every secret secret ever in this level. But at the same time, I mean, do I really need to, though? We've we've already got so much to work with here. And I, and I think this is the last level, I think. So, I think we'll just go right to it. But I will save before I go into that room because I'm scared. I'm a scaredy cat. Pressure to, to pursue other interests, yeah. Yeah, that, that that's totally fair, dude, you dead. I mean, I, I that's just my own personal example, but yeah. That I, that I will be the first to to tell folks that yeah, it's not it not everyone needs to like go to college, get a degree, you know, there, there's there's plenty of other walks of life to go down. So it's not the end all be all. It's just that's kinda how it was for me, just because like well, I mean, for one thing, yes, it, there was a lot of pressure for sure. So I feel like I, while I was in college, I was like too overloaded and stressed to be able to, you know, to be able to live my life. So it's like once I was done, I was like, finally, I can do things I want to do. Holy shit. Cause yeah, because it was just, it was just kind of all encompassing. Bunch of fellas. And it's nice that they just all started firing which means they all um started hurting each other with friendly fire actually hold on i'm gonna i want to see if i can can i can i engineer that to get weirder it's like i want them to all start hurting each other they're not hurting each other that makes me sad okay one more time i'll try one more time i want them to, i want to cause a bunch of infighting but there might not be an option for that Oh, they, they were for a second, but then I interrupted them like a big meanie. Like a big dumb meanie. It's hard to it's hard to use the, the wings to get away safely. Unless you're already moving. Unless like you're already moving that general direction. Because yeah, your speed just plummets. Beloved by the bullet. But it's pretty cool just being able to, if you know what you're doing, it's pretty cool to just kind of fly away with purpose, with porpoise. Looks like he's still there. There's also a big man. There's big man. He's been sh the shambler has been the, the sh he. Let me think about this. The shambler has been is now the scrambler. What I'm trying to get at is that guy is the this mod's version of the interdimensional shambler. So I'm trying to say that I've scrambled the shambler. He who scr he who shambles has been scrambled. How's that? The kind of pressure. I mean, it's it's different for everybody, and and part, well, I'll be honest. Part of the reason why college was so stressful for me was because I fucking did it to myself, because I I said yes to too many things. I took on too much responsibility. I took on too heavy of a course load. It was because I'd like I was too immature and too inexperienced with just life in general to know my own limits. So part of the reason why, especially the last year of college, was so awful for me was like. Just my own ineptitude, my own dumbassery, just being unwilling or unable to say no to things. And it very much biting me. So. That's really all it is. Or at least that was the majority of it. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, the, the classes were hard too, but so much of it was just my own, my own fuckery. The phone ringing. I think I know the one. It's the grenades bouncing around, right? All right, this is the last level, I think. Oh, yeah, this has some last level energy for sure. Here's wings. Here's a bunch of guns. And here's a fucking demon, apparently, somewhere. I would like some health and armor. The blue stuff.
Is it that one? The big laser fella? Big shotgun. I'll confess, I don't know if I hear it, but maybe it's different on my end. My volume settings. Because my volume is turned on kind of low. There's a bunch of tanks. And maybe this game is Warhammer adjacent in some way. So now we're forced to kind of reckon with how wings work in this game. I that a bunch of times in a row. This one here. Huh, interesting. I never, I never really thought about that. Can I get over there? Oh, teleport. Okay, no, I cannot. The game's way is saying, out of bounds. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, right there, right there. It was exactly what I was trying to point out earlier, where if I don't have enough velocity, I will... It, it's, you, it's hard to build up speed. Hard to build up speed when you're kind of lacking at first with the wings. The wings don't, the wings don't grant you anything. It's like you pick a direction and then you start flying with the wings and if you need to change direction or orientation, good luck. Have a good night, Ultimax. Max. Thanks for popping in, bud. Appreciate you hanging with us. Thank you again, by the way. We had a couple friends raid. C. Dutson and XGF2 both raided a little bit earlier. And that's super, super nice. Oh, something scary this way comes. Uh, oh, button. Red. What's, what's it gonna be? Uh, this one. There we go. Red. Is it a gargoyle? This kind of looks like the chamber from Portal. Need to disable your shield in some way. So this is why they really required you to get good with flying. Whip. Oh, interesting. This is more similar to Quake's first boss than anything. I wonder if we're gonna telefrag him. Like we, oh Jesus, like we did in Quake. The way that boss, the way that whole boss shakes out. Match. Can I just cheese it? Uh, not co almost, almost. I can, I can almost cheese it. I wonder if this phase ends and then you have to then like then he leaves his post and then you have to fight him no he's just dead never mind I was like thinking like then he leaves his post and then you have to fight him as he's walking around he's got legs he's not rooted to the internet to an ethernet connection he has what he has a Wi-Fi he has Wi-Fi he's Wi-Fi enabled He's not on Ethernet connection. Connection. He's got a router. That was easy. It was easy, and it's it was suspiciously easy. It makes me wonder if that's not it. it makes me wonder if there's more where that came from, and the game's just playing coy, like, oh, you you beat the boss, congratulations. All the while, it's like <laughs> just lulling lulling me into a false sense. Full sense of security. If I go out the way I came, it should it should appear. Well, maybe that really was it. Yeah, that was more more uh, similar to um to Quake One to to the ending of Quake One, the first episode, I think. Some people plan for- you're, you're right, yeah, dude, dude, dad, especially in a first-person shooter. Some FPS's platforming is rough. And I mean, really, just in general, platforming can be rough for a lot of FPS's. The wings- yeah, the wings took some getting used to, but I- I, I very much liked what they provided. 
I mean that and of course that boss would have been tr literally impossible without him So Enyo, I think we're actually gonna encounter Enyo in Slave Zero X proper And I'm guessing Sufgon is the antagonist of the main game. Also, is anybody else seeing this? Um, I guess I have no way to show you with my cursor, and I'm worried if I click any button. If I click any button, it's going to go to the sc next screen. Um, above the word alpha. So the first sentence. After defeating the slave alpha, comma, and. It's the first line. Above the word alpha. You see that tower? Is that a boob tower? Is that a three boob tower? I need somebody to confirm or deny if I'm seeing what I want to see. And Alex, you're you're full of shit. I need someone else to weigh in on this. Three boob tower, yay or nay? Shove rice into the Ethernet port? No, it's if you drop it into a bathtub. It's if I drop, it's if I drop my router into a into a toilet, then I put rice into it. Oh, really, Aleph? That doesn't sound good. Motherboard, Ethernet port. Yeah, that's weird. That sounds uh, unpleasant. Also, looks like when you beat the game, you get the wings for free. Congrats on finishing Slave Zero X episode Enyo. So we've acquainted with ourselves with the dangers of the Mega City. You can find out what happens to Enyo in Slave Zero X. How, how fitting. How fitting, right? Good stuff. And we get a fresh gun. A badass assault rifle. More like an LMG, honestly. This thing's thick. This thing's girthy. So we have a badass assault rifle. Cool wings. I love it. So there's the credits. This is good. I like this. This was fun. I love me a good Quake mod. This was a very good Quake mod.